It's the Bob and Tom Show. Oh, nurse! Oh, nurse! Dr. Duke, did you call for a nurse? Yes. I'm hot and I'm ready to party. Nurses are hot! She gets through. Oh, nurses are hot and ready to party. Yeah, nurses are hot, so ready to party. Let's go now, one o'clock before the night is done. Do you feel depressed? Have you got the bug? You don't need therapy or a miracle drug. Only one remedy that works for sure. A date with the nurse is the only cure. If your temperature's rising. Fever's getting waste. Take from Dr. Duke. All you need is a red hot nurse, cause nurses are hot. Is in order. Come here, my dear. The doctor is ready for his sponge bath. And Dr. Duke will be administering tonight's enema. But first, bend over. Let me take your temperature. Uh, it's much, much more accurate this way. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, song made with actual nurses in the back. Those are all real nurses. Real nurses. Uh, men and women. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Bob and Tom Show at the sound of Tom making a mistake. The show is starting. There's Christy Lee at the Hello. news desk. There's Pat Godwin. Hi, Chick. He's at the performance room. There's Josh Arnold. Hey, Chick. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here he is. Hi, Tom. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. I was getting some stuff organized over here. Yeah, of course. Okay. You are. Too on busy the, to be on the air. Right? Yeah, all nurses on that song. A little bit of Duke Tomato. Nurses are hot and ready to party. <laughs> uh, and uh, very competent, and we were so glad that they did such a nice job. Uh, but uh, we have, uh, let's see, a quick go-round. Uh, uh, Christy, I like that. Uh, now, typically, when you what? wear that particular sweater, uh, yeah. Chick always points out the same thing. What's that? Uh, the uh, color, uh, technically, uh, is uh, T-I-D-D-Y. Titty pink. Titty pink, with emphasis on the D there. Yep. Uh, hmm. Are you aware of that? That no, is a, I think it's more raspberry. That is a, a no. color. Mm. No, you go to any uh, Sherwin Williams, uh, it'll come up in the book. Titty really? Pink. Yep. Oh. Absolutely. That's not raspberry. It's too uh, raspberry right. is redder than that. Well, I have a new scarf, and I forgot to take the tag off. It's driving me nuts. So apologize for okay, that. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute, Josh. Are you are you with me on this? Yeah. How embarrassing! I know, I mean, right? It's, it's, it's oh my gosh. Mortifying. It Good is. God. Um, <laughs> how will you get over this? I know. Oh my god. <laughs> so we have a lot coming up today. I'm very excited about the show. Where are you on uh, baseball? hats and keeping the tags on them tom I now you're, you're supposed aren't you supposed to keep the tags on them isn't that the new thing right the stickers and stuff the stickers still yeah still. yeah oh. and they uh i just got a new hat over the weekend and there's like four tags on it now and they're a bitch to get <laughs> off yeah so maybe that's why they left them on there wasn't, i don't know wasn't that made famous on hee-haw 
Minnie Pearl. Pearl. Minnie yeah. Pearl. Yeah. Pearl is way ahead of her Price time. Day. What hat yeah. you get? I'm more excited about that. Uh, Montreal Expo's hat, actually. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm cool. They you are cool. You're yes. ahead of your time. I'm Trend very cool. Very, very cool. Oh. You remember the Expo? Of course, yes. Uh, named after what? Uh, the Montreal Exposition. In of? 1967? Yes. Expo 67. Uh, Expo 67. Very good. That's where Olympic Stadium came from. <laughs> now, um, uh, I'm glad to see that you're purchasing a baseball cap. Getting, getting ready for the season. Now, will you wear it? Will you wear it forwards, or will you turn around backwards? Always backwards. Really? No, there's only one thing I turn my hat around for. You know that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's getting down in there. Is there a lucky lady that we need to be introduced well, to? Um, <laughs> like maybe, you would do that? Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. I bet you think. Do you that's, do like a little announcing while you're down there? I bet you think that. <laughs> hey, we got weather killing up at the Ted's. Nasty, don't you? Not at all. I would never discuss such thing. <laughs> uh, coming up, actually, we do have something in the realm of human sexuality in the news. Turn um, your cap around. Is that what we're doing? Um, about? No, no. Um, <sighs> I, I was not aware of this, and it's a thing. I, I, Josh, you may be aware of this. First of all, there's some language in here that um, uh, I, you explained to me not too long ago. Um, the organization is uh, uh, called, I'm going to get, I want to get this exactly right, uh, um, uh, NOFAP mm -hmm. LLC. Um, and uh, it's about a trend uh, that, of course, is being uh, discussed on the Internet of, uh, of ending uh, self-pleasure. Oh, really? And uh, oh, doctor, that... doctors are weighing in about why that may not be a good idea. Is that FAP? Yeah. Well, I thought FAP was something else. I thought Both. it was... It's, it's just any oh. noise of uh, uh, okay. sound, yeah. A ryth I think... Rhythmic flesh slapping. Gotcha. I think you guys are thinking of FUPA. FUPA? F-U-P-A, yeah. That's the pooch, the, the, uh, the <laughs> power, the... the uh... Oh. Uh, yeah, I can't say. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the fat upper. Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, I'm not sure what oh, 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 I know. I, the well, you can say the fat upper pubis area. Yeah, that's, yeah, that works. I'm not aware yeah. of that. Uh, that was not where I was going. Uh, we, we'll, we'll, coming up, we have uh, uh, nofap.com in the news. We've got a uh, website. Oh, of course. <laughs> and uh, about uh, a urologist discussing. Uh, claims about so-called semen retention. We'll be getting into that a little bit later on. Uh, also, uh, we have um, uh, naked people in the news uh, and uh, <clears throat> uh, complaints about uh, something that occurred in an Uber. But right now, we turn to some sports headlines. Anything we need to know over there? Uh, we had the NFC, AFC Pro Bowl over the weekend, and uh, I'm not really sure what's ha what happened, but uh, here's the explanation. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the NFC claimed bragging rights. Time out. You 60... ask a question, most people expect an and answer. And there are other people in the room, yet you always answer. For them, because they What's don't the... answer you. Well, somebody <laughs> started answering. I wasn't listening and didn't even hear the question. See? <laughs> the NFC claimed bragging rights. 64-59 victory in the Pro Bowl games over the AFC. Thursday night's events gave the NFC a 12-9 lead, don't ask me, into Sunday's action at beautiful <laughs> Camping World Stadium in Orlando. The Eli Manning-led conference managed to extend their winning streak. They win 64-59. There you go. And it was like six people, seven people, seven on seven at one time. And the problem, <laughs> everybody was mic'd up. So what uh, problem would you have, Tom? Cursing. It they they were trying to stay ahead of it, but you would hear the mic cutting out for eight seconds at a time. Then it comes back, and then another eight <laughs> seconds, and it comes back. It was stupid what they were trying to do. It was really really silly. Did they really have to have it live? Couldn't they have taken? Well, I don't know why they didn't. Uh, maybe they did have it somewhat delayed, and that's what that was causing. The problem as well. I don't know. Yeah, I missed it. I had a life to lead. I don't know why they just didn't. Um, yeah, I watched, uh, to be honest, I watched the first eight minutes of it and uh, went back to something Nobody would have watched that, right, Ace? There are people in stands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's, yeah, people were watching it. Yeah, I was uh, amazed what part of the skills. He was amazed, he said. Replay where the quarterbacks are throwing at the holes and they were missing. The holes are the targets. Yeah. I didn't see the holes. There, there were targets going back yeah. and forth. I saw that. Those aren't... Oh, they were missing a oh, lot? Yeah. yeah. It said six, six on it. What? They're not going to hit every one, Ace. Well, they're pro quarterbacks. 
They throw for a living. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you you hear what I'm dealing with. Every <laughs> right? You guys hear all this? Uh, and uh, let's see what other things are going on. The AT&T uh, Pebble Beach uh, canceled on Sunday because of the end of the world type rain. So Wyndham Clark has declared, I declare Wyndham Clark the winner. It's up to me and uh, that's my decision. Live with it. Live with it. <laughs> and uh, other sports coming up, including uh, Morgan Freeman, college basketball. You're darn right. Huh. All coming up. What? <laughs> Morgan Freeman, <laughs> college basketball. It's all coming up. Okay. Well, to find you out. don't have to know everything coming up, Tom. <laughs> Tough titty pink. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, all righty. I'll look forward to that. Uh, uh, Christy, how about news? What's coming up? Oh, what's coming up? Yeah. Well, let's see. We have um, Dairy Queen workers selling a little bit more than soft serve, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you remember? Do you remember the the, the mini uh, football helmets they give you a Sunday in? Remember those? Oh, awesome. Sure. And yeah. then they have batting helmets too. Yes. The same thing. They, fill they would ice have cream put up. a Sunday in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. they're great. Oh, you didn't so have cool. that. Great. Oh, wait, I don't I think it. I don't see you going to Dairy Queen. I love no, Dairy Queen. I now don't. you do, but as a kid, yeah, your mommy probably made you a Sunday at no, home. Oh, it's Dairy Queen. I, I love Dairy believe. Queen. I don't big believe. fan. I don't always believe. have been. Um, we'll find out about that. We have towels in the news and fjords. <laughs> <laughs> the fjords. That's what you and your brothers were missing when you put your towels on and uh -huh. played Bear Man and all that homoerotic <laughs> grab ass when you were kids. You only needed a fjord. That's what you needed. Uh, okay, Pining well, for the fjords. Yes. Uh, also, uh, coming up, they've discovered a, a World War II era rocket in a guy's garage. Yeah, um, got a naked guy in the news today. I love mm. the naked so, guys. Yeah. Uh, but uh, right now, I'll remind you that the... Uh, you got uh, Valentine's Day coming up, and uh, maybe there's you can always get her flowers, and maybe a set of those nice Raycon earbuds. Maybe get two pairs, one for you, just to keep it quiet. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, chick. I do, and you. No matter what your relation status is, or your thoughts on Valentine's Day, for instance, Tom thinks it's, it's an imposition, it's a chore, it's just another chance for you to fail. <laughs> it's an but obligation. For those of us who enjoy giving gifts, why not give some Raycon earbuds? That's right. Listen to the Bob and Tom Show on your Raycon Everyday Earbuds. They have the optimized gel tips, you know, uh, that fit every ear ever made. And like any love story, your Raycons are here for a good time and a long time. With eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and more importantly, amazing quality at around half the price of other premium audio brands we receive love letters all the time of course from bob and tom listeners about their raycons and it's no wonder raycons everyday earbuds have tens of thousands of five-star reviews so go to buyraycon.com slash tom today get 15 percent off your raycon order plus free shipping that's buyraycon.com slash tom score 15 percent off and free shipping that's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Okay, uh, coming up, a little bit of news from the world of the Grammys. Uh, and uh, also... Are we uh, going to have your thoughts on the Grammys? I'd be interested to hear what you I, I didn't watch them. I'll watch some of the things. I've heard a couple, there were a couple great moments. I'd be, I'll have to watch them later. Uh, they're, they're a little past my bedtime, sorry. Uh, but we'll certainly look forward to that. Uh, and uh, a nice uh, tribute to the oldest American. Still alive, that is. As of... Now, yes, as we speak, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll cross our fingers. This right. is the Bob and Tom Show. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah. Well, we were talking about that. Uh, it's wonderful. You, you fly all over the place. You're, you, you, you work a lot with uh, the yeah. comedian uh, Jeff Dunham. Yeah. So you, and you guys are always flying, but uh, you're famous on this show for your discussion of, of, of flying. Wow. I, well, I, it was, uh, it, it, I, you know, I, I know a lot of comedians do the stuff about, you know, airline, uh, you know, uh, jokes about, mm -hmm. uh, you know, everything from flying. And uh, so this was just my experience was that I started to notice uh, some of the pilots, uh, there were those who didn't say anything to you really they would just say hey how you doing you know and uh but then i always i had 
uh, notice the ones who love to talk and yeah. point out things and give you a little sure. tour in the sky. <laughs> and, sure. Uh -huh. And uh, I always thought those were guys who were frustrated uh, radio guys. They wanted to be on radio, you know. <laughs> There's your captain here in the cockpit. Uh, and, and they always sound so cool, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> You know, and uh, so he always, first of all, he has to tell you he's in the cockpit. Oh, yeah. uh, like, where else is he going to be? Like, yeah, we know. Yeah. We know. No. Uh -huh. I'm in the can right now. I, uh, just wanted to say hi. So if you guys uh, don't form a line while I'm in here, please. So he's in the cockpit. Okay. And then they always tell you how many feet were going up. I never understood why they had to share that with uh, all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's great. We're going up to 36,000 feet. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm just a passenger. I'm not writing this stuff down. Uh -huh. You know, uh, what did he say 36,000 or 33,000? Because I need to know. Do you? I yeah. <laughs> and I want to know what the gauge says because mm -hmm. this is, uh, I can't see it. I mean, I need to know. So, uh, yeah, he's given us all this information. We really don't need, uh, as passengers, you know, uh, all I know is, uh, you know, 36,000, 40,000, just go high. That's all I really. <laughs> go, go above the trees and the mountains and clear that stuff. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Happy. Yeah. Have a couple of drinks and, uh, uh, but then uh, the, some of these guys, I've noticed, also will keep going. They're the ones who like to point out everything. You know, uh, for those of you sitting on the left side of the plane, if you look out your window, there's a clown shaped like a duck. <laughs> wow. What? I, oh, good. I, I'm glad he woke me up for that because, uh -huh. you know, I mean, I... <laughs> And, of course, those people on the right side of the plane, uh, they never get to see anything sometimes, right? They'll, they'll point yeah. out stuff. You know, if, if you're on the left side, you can see the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. If you're on the right side, you can look at the people looking at the Grand Canyon <laughs> on the left side of the plane. Fascinating. Fast, yeah. So, oh. so I, I just noticed those guys. Uh, so I started taking notes about what they would say, and it was just unbelievable. Uh -huh. And then uh, uh, and the, the funniest, or, or, or it's, I guess it's not funny, is when a plane goes down, of course, they would look for the flight recorder. And oh, I was sure. always like, and they always thought, I, I always wondered, like, what do they expect to hear on this thing? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, I mean, the pilot's not cool enough to just explain what's happening, is he? Is he just going <laughs> to... Oh just hit a mountain. Uh, my fault, my fault. I, I was pointing out something to the people and, uh, and yeah, uh -huh. I clipped the wing and uh, uh, yeah. there you go. Anyway, I, I, I know I sound cool right now, but I've just evacuated uh, like you wouldn't believe. But, mm. So I just want to apologize to everybody. Uh, we're uh, spinning out of control. I just want to thank all our passengers for flying with us. Uh, we realized you had a choice in airlines and uh, well, you picked the wrong one. Cause we're, well, we're going right down. We're going down. We're going down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you're not going to get that. No, you know, you're just free gonna, drinks. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Free drink. But, uh, yeah. Just uh, hurry, uh, hurry. Uh, free drink. Uh, the cart should be uh, flying around. Any, just reach up and grab something. Oh, uh, man. I don't know. The, mm -hmm. I, I figure that. It, I, mean, I guess when they find the thing, all they really hear is you know one big. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, scream. Yeah, scream yeah. Curse. Oh, scream yeah. Curse. One big curse word all the way down. Absolutely. Yeah. My, my, I'm sure. You know, if I, and if I was on the plane going down, I my last word would be, you know, my, my wife would be going, I, you know, she'd be saying, I love you, and I'd be going, sorry, honey, I'm going to have to curse with the pilot right now. <laughs> uh, I'd be saying, I love you right now. But. <laughs> Jeff Roth Band. <laughs>
Get your eyes off me. <laughs> what is your major malfunction? <laughs> 200 people showed up. I put them all in the same row. <laughs> tighten it up. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. <laughs> We're not comfortable. Outstanding. <laughs> I was outstanding, as a matter of fact. Comedian oh Greg Hahn is with us. God. Hey, it's comedian Roy with Hey, welcome back to the Bomb and Tom Show. You know what week it is, Tom? Oh, my God. It's Super Bowl week. Oh, of course. Uh, it's Super Bowl week. I'm fully aware of that. Super Bowl. You know what number it is? 50 mm. something. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 58, Tom. Good. 58. Well, it'll be fun to watch. 58. Are you going to watch it, the whole thing, right to the end? Or? It depends. I got a feeling it's going to be, as my mother would say, closed. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. Uh, some sad news on Friday. I, uh, we were talking about the uh, commercial with Gronk that uh, kind of had that cameo from Carl Weathers. Yeah. And Carl Weathers passed away um, um, just uh, before the weekend. I think we... Uh, Great actor. We had to play some part in that, right? Yeah. We, um, we need to start keeping track of who we're talking about ooh. and see if they well, die. We're, we're talking about that uh, that commercial. and mm -hmm. Well, we're talking about the world's oldest person. Right that's now. coming up in the that's right. coming up in the in the news. I, and how old is he? Um, that's a woman. Actually. She is 116. Should we do Whoa, it now? Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah, that's up there. So she's been around. This is her second 24. She turns 116 today, making her the oldest person in the U.S., second oldest person on Earth. So she was born in... Her second 24. 1908? <laughs> yeah, 1908, right? Gosh. Holy hell. Blenny. When she saw Gone with the Wind in the theater, she was, like, pregnant. <laughs> That's how old she was. <laughs> she was, like, 30. When yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. the theater, Gone with the Wind. <laughs> Folks in Willits, California are planning a parade today to I celebrate her. Yes. Yeah. Edith Edie Recogno Keenan Cesarelli. Big time. Yeah. That's what they call her. <laughs> the town of Willits commemorating the occasion with a parade that will pass by the Holy Spirit Residential Care Home where the septuagenarian resides. And we'll be waving from a window. And praying she's watching. <laughs> uh... Organizers and city employees told USA Today <laughs> that Cesarelli is a local celebrity and her birthday parade is party of the season. Oh, okay. She will celebrate with carrot cake and strawberry ice cream. All right. Uh, yeah, so you blend that all together. I got to get her fruit and vegetables. That she does. <laughs> she'll, she'll remember this. Probably till lunchtime. <laughs> we don't know. She might be. Spy. Oh yeah, there's a chance she's she's With more <laughs> mentally capable than any of us. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they say she's pretty pretty good. Really? Yeah. yeah. I read so the story. So she was yeah. born, yeah. give or take, forty years after Lincoln got shot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, still, still fresh in her old, memory. This is an old woman. <laughs> so that's well, nice having a nice parade. Oh, she's seen a lot. Don't make the band yes, too she loud. Has. Want to scare her? She was born when Teddy Roosevelt was president, right? Not right. Was he? Yeah, like 1900? Yeah, I'm like that. Boy, 1908. She may have been born when he was still commissioner of the NYPD. <laughs> Boy, when she fills that form, she has to really scroll way yeah, down. Yeah, she? <laughs> I've always wondered what. It, Where did I'm they getting stop? winded. Where do they quit? Uh, yeah, a yeah. hundred, a hundred plus. Yeah. <laughs> Color in that circle. <laughs> uh, next, the next time I have one of those, yeah. we have to scroll down. I'll, I'll keep going. See how far you can go. <laughs> see, <laughs> see where they draw the line. Is there a thing at the bottom that says "other," just in case to give them the opportunity <laughs> to fill it out, or just her name? <laughs> <laughs> she's the, she's the <laughs> welcome, Gladys. Autofill. <laughs> Good to see you, Gladys. Uh, at 116, she's believed to be the second oldest a living person on Earth. Yeah. Okay. And, like, is it ever, or do we know what the no. oldest person ever is? Uh, that's no. I thought it was like 118, 119, I thought. And then this always gets a little sketchy because yeah, it's a little it's dodgy up there. People are lying. They can't find a birth well, certificate or something. It's like running for president. You know, you got to. <laughs> and then some of these. Uh, it's usually in Japan. They're, they're all up there. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, the, the birth certificate's always a little sketchy. Oh. Because you can buy them online, you know, John. I was going to say, is sometimes you get the Dominican Dominican uh, Little League baseball team involved. And then God knows how the old they are, you know. The oldest living person right now. Is Maria Brañas of Spain? She's 116 and 338 days, so she's got almost a year on her. Mm. 
How do you know? <laughs> I'm gonna beat her. That they passed away. Oh, oh you mean? Don't you have to go? Finger is shaking. You gotta touch them, right? I would think. Okay, the oldest ever <laughs> they believe was uh, Ms. Uh, Jeannie Calmet. She was French, wasn't she? Yes. Yeah. Oh. 122 years, 164 days. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. Listen, I, I, when they start counting the days again, it's kind of like when you're a little little oh, yeah. kid. There. Yeah. They're going back. Wow. Uh, but uh, everything comes around, Tom. They start to de uh, count days. You're back in diapers. You're, yeah. You know. yeah there, there, are quite a, there are quite a few. Bibs. Several hundred, over 115. Mm. Uh, aren't we now, don't we have more people over 100 than we've yeah. ever had before? Mm -hmm. And it, it, it would, just it's a quick epidemic. survey, it, it, it looks like a disproportionate <laughs> number of them are from Japan. Mm. Well, that's one of the blue areas, if you've seen and, the documentary. Yeah, the but areas. there's also yeah. the issue of who's keeping track. And But, yeah, if you look at this list, quite a few are from Japan. So that may be part of the diet or genetics or who knows. But uh, uh, we will uh, uh, celebrate oh, uh, this young lady's 116th birthday My goodness. today. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I we, wonder where I'll be when I'm 160. Well, either, mm. either in an urn or... Uh, <sighs> You so wanted to say 40 years dead. 40 years dead, didn't you? Oh, okay. That's what you wanted to You'll say. You'll be sitting right there. Is it sitting right yeah. here? That's half, right. Oh, Talking about the oh, Half okay. cyborg, but still full of you, you know. Still and because I haven't suffered enough yet, I'm going to sit <laughs> right here. <laughs> Speaking of that, dear Tom, I love you. It oh. starts out. This is from David. I pulled a Tom. I forgot the word speedometer over the weekend. Instead, I said, I wonder how fast I'm going. Where is my speed clock? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you, David, very much. Like the speed clock. Yeah, sometimes uh, when, when you're talking, you just got to make up the word as yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. Speed just got to go. a good one. Makes sense. Almost as it explains itself, really. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good, very good. Well, yeah. thank you very much. You're welcome. If you want to get a hold of us, you could write us, Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. We always love hearing from you. I'm going to squeeze a request in here shortly. Uh, but uh, Is it Pat Godwin? What do you want to hear of mine, Tom? Uh, <laughs> no, it's a request. Uh, no? From mm -hmm. Someone out there. Uh, oh, but, uh, we'll maybe we to... could have a... Uh... Maybe we could have a Super Bowl song every day. How about that? Uh. <laughs> no? Well, we, we could do that. I have Super Bowl theme music. I have that from, you know, it's in Vegas, you know. Really? She was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just pictured uh, she her was a, as, a, as an Elvis Wasn't she fan. briefly the fan of a, one specific country star? Yeah. Like who? Charlie Pride. Charlie Pride. <laughs> She did like Charlie Pride until the night he was on Hee Haw. <laughs> Why was that? And then she, she was quite uh, surprised. So who was she a fan of? She was uh, did not yeah. care for Charlie after that. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boy, oh boy. Uh, she liked uh, Conway Twitty. And so those were the records you heard in your home. And the Twitty Birds. All right. <laughs> you remember Conway Twitty? Sure. Yeah, really. Because uh, he had a uh, rock and roll song, if you will, before he went into country. It was called "It's Only Make Believe" or something. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. Con Conrad, Conrad Birdie the, from Bye Bye Birdie is, they took the name based on Conway Twitty. Did they really? Yeah. Um, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Thank Especially God we got, I, I don't think that's, do you think that's true? Uh, probably. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Birdie, I don't know. I guess. I, I, the only way I'll believe that is if I talk to Gower Champion, okay? <laughs> All I know is if you when you hear facts on this show, and this includes from me, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. double check them. <laughs> right, um, yeah. gotta, he brings up a great point. I want to uh, send this out to uh, a guy um, who is a uh, big fan, and uh, he knows why we're playing it. This is uh, Nick Griffin, and I think this is kind of one of the classics. One of uh, Nick's uh, f first visits to our show. Yeah. So, Nick, let's start with the basics. Are you a uh, married guy? No, I, I just uh, got divorced. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, Sorry to hear about that. It's okay. Lots of people get divorced. Um, nothing to be ashamed of. So many people get divorced these days that now it's the people that stay married that really seem strange, you know? Mm -hmm. 25 years. Oh, my God. What happened? That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Don't you know you can get out of it? <laughs> Haven't you heard? <laughs> What's the deal, dude? You nuts? Wake up. Uh, we only lasted three years. Which, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Three years I mean, we were supposed time. to be together in, 
until one of us died. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I never even had a fever. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. You got to reevaluate yourself after you get divorced. You people have been anyone here? <laughs> anyone? Quite a few. Look at it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will make you feel better. Einstein got divorced. He did. Really? Yeah, did you know that? Albert Einstein, arguably the most intelligent man who ever lived, got divorced. They should tell you that before you get married. <laughs> It shouldn't be, do you love her? Do you want to spend the rest of your life with her? It should be, do you think you're smarter than Einstein? <laughs> <laughs> It's awful yeah, it's the point is, is that marriage is hard. No one tells you how hard it's going to be. It's, uh, you know, they slip it into the ceremony at the last second during the vows, you know, in sickness and in health for richer, or for poor. But at that point, what are you going to say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How sick and poor is this broad going to get? It's going to be like barfing and charging stuff. Is that- <laughs> Nick Griffin is our guest comedian, Nick Griffin. How long ago has it been since you got the divorce? It was about three years ago. Oh, yeah. so you're dating then? Uh, I guess, kind of, you know, not nothing serious. I don't want to, you know what I don't want to do? I don't want to say I love you anymore. You know, just, uh, mm-hmm. I hate that first I love you. That's the worst. The first time you ever tell a woman you love her. If they like you, they want to hear it. And when they hear it that first time, something comes over them. You know, their eyes get all wide. And get that diabolical grin on their face. You, you can almost feel them saying, Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> it's all falling into place. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And once you say I love you the first time, get ready to say it forever. You're on the love side now. There's no going back. There's no talk to you later, honey. See you tomorrow. It's I love you. Every night before bed, every single phone call, she's got to say it. You got to say it. You know, you're like the two generals turning the keys at the same time. I love you, Nikki. Yeah, I know. You told me yesterday. I believe you. (laughs) Aren't you going to say you love me? I did two hours ago. We have Alzheimer's. Write it down. <laughs> the special sending that out to uh, one of our friends uh, out there by request. Thank you very much. I can see why you one don't want to give his name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a nice, nice uh, sentiment there. How sick is this broad going to get? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the 2026 World Cup. Uh, the sites have been announced. It will be played at that Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. You're not going to do your standard. Oh, the World Cup. Damn it, you're right. You're right, Tom. When you're right, you're right. I got to I I've been so busy trying to get all the Super Bowl information off the ground that I don't Oh, here's something we could Oh, back that ass up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell. That, what was that? <laughs> Frog man, what's this? Oh, here's the Kansas City Chiefs fight song. Is still? Uh, perhaps we could uh, move on. Move on from maybe, that. Uh, maybe uh, stow that. Yeah. I don't, hey, Taylor, I... we're looking at you for a rewrite. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have the World Cup information coming up, but it's going to be at uh, the Giants Jet Stadium on uh, July 19th, 2026. And um, let's see. NBA action. Joel Embiid's undergoing an unspecified procedure this week to correct the injury to his lateral meniscus in his left knee. Uh, right knee? Weenie. Oh, the old weenie meniscus. <laughs> it's his left knee. Uh, weenie uh, somebody we- sat on it during action. Ooh. It was awful. His Yikes. weenie? His weenie? Yeah. I didn't know men had meniscus. Or is that labium? I forget. Yeah, uh, it's good. Labrum. Maybe. I was pretty. Uh, I was pretty. Yes, I had my meniscus trimmed back. Did you? I did indeed. Many, many listening have had a little bit of that meniscus stuff. It was just far too large. Uh, I don't know what it was, but it sure as hell hurt. One story um, that's going to be out there, so I feel compelled to report on it. Uh, the father of Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes has been arrested on at least his third charge of driving while intoxicated in Tyler, Texas. Patrick Mahomes Sr.'s bond set at $10,000 released yesterday. According to court records, Mahomes' arrest occurred just more than a week before his son will lead the uh, Chiefs in the Super Bowl against the 49ers. Hmm. That will take place in Las Vegas. Hope he gets the help he needs. I, hope, I certainly hope that is well. a driver. 
Yeah, I mean, any help would be Mark and I. Uh, you know, people. Probably, would you agree that people, check. people uh, sometimes they would need a driver to get back and forth, to, let's say, to work safely? Would you agree with that statement? If they were <laughs> intoxicated, yes. Yeah, into- how about intoxicated with? With power and or <laughs> and uh, ADHD, preoccupied preoccupied with ADHD and all sorts uh, of mental problems. I'm doing just fine. Um, <laughs> I, that's uh, the first uh, symptom. Uh, 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 coming up, uh, we have uh, Snoop Dogg in the news. We've got bats. Snoop a loop. Uh, apparently, some uh, Super Bowl news. God knows what they're ringing out of the uh, of Super Bowl. We have sent Willie. That's right. To Vegas. Super Bowls in Vegas, baby. Willie is there. I, I'm not sure if he's got off his plane yet. Uh, I saw him in a picture in front of, it says, New York, question mark. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's there. It's yeah, New York, New York. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I talked to him on his way to the airport yesterday, so we'll be getting updates from Vegas from uh, from Willie G, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll have some uh, video probably posted by this afternoon. Right now, uh, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show uh, has a message for you from our friends at the Sleep Number Bed Facility near you. Of course, I'm talking about the Sleep Number Store and how much I love my Sleep Number Bed. I was doing the math on this. I want to say my, I think I've had my Sleep Number Bed, I think it. I think it's year 18. I think so. Um, um, I'll have to double check, but I sure do like it. And uh, the, uh, the key to the Sleep Number Bed, of course, it's a smart bed. They call it the Sleep Number Smart Bed. It's designed for your ever-evolving sleep needs. What does that mean? Well, it means you change over time, and maybe you want a firmer mattress or a less firm mattress, and the Sleep Number Bed actually can tell you how to uh, get just the right setting for you. Adjustable firmness on either side of the bed. They have perfected this at the Sleep Number Store. And uh, uh, how about an outside point of view on this? We'll just ask the JD Power folks. They are ranking Sleep Number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in store. Want to read all about it? Go to jdpower.com slash awards and read about uh, the Sleep Number smart beds. Now, of course, there's a big sale going on right now with President's Day just around the corner. And it happens to be an incredible 50% savings. 50%? That's the Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed 50% off. Special financing also available for a limited time. So if you've been stalling and putting it off and you don't want to do it, maybe now is the time. Get that bed that's going to make you sleep better and think about how much time you spend sleeping and how important it is to get proper quality sleep. Check out the Sleep Number Smart Bed. Sleep Number stores are the only place you'll find it. Sleepnumber.com slash BT Show. Crystal Lee, what's your setting? Uh, 35 today. Oh, very, very not firm. Not very firm And, and at your all. husband is a crisp. 100. There you go. Okay, so. hang on. So does this mean I'm out because my sleep number is also 100? Because, uh... You come uh, over and sleep in our bed. I don't care. Arnie or... <laughs> is her, her, her Abby or Andy. Andy. Huh? Andy. I was just okay. trying to illustrate that you have two people in the same bed, but they're both very comfortable. I feel like very. Josh now. You never asked me what his sleep number is. What's your sleep number, Josh? What's your sleep number? You know, I don't even remember. It's been so long since he asked me. <laughs> 65, of course. I know. And how did you find that? I went to the sleep number store, laid down on their test bed. They said, these are your pressure points, and this is the way to re- leave them. Huh. You check it out. Thank you very much. Sleepnumber.com slash BT show. Coming up, we have, is that a rocket in my garage? Uh, we also have um, something going on in the back of an Uber that... Yikes. <laughs> highly inappropriate. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom show. Reach us toll free at one 1- Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. Ah!
That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. See, that's Bob. I'm Tom. Uh, Chick McGee's over there at the uh, Quality Drivers Sports Desk. <laughs> Christy Lee, Arum. future Arum. truck Arum. driver. Arum. That's uh, me, baby. I'm going to uh, be driving the big rigs. We're going to get uh, Christy over to Quality Drivers and learn how to uh, drive the big rigs. Mm -hmm. uh, comedian Justin Willman has joined us in the studio. Hello. You may have seen him uh, on Ellen. You may have been at the White House when he was there. It's amazing. <laughs> he's, he's here in the studio. I was being dragged out of the White House when he was there. <laughs> <laughs> were you wearing a I cape? I wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> it was, it, I was it not. Was, Did you ever buy a cape? Halloween. You ever had? Did you I've got to have a cape. Oh, man. You know, Come I. On. No, no cape? It's How about a little a on the nose for me. Like, top hat? A top hat. I do own some top hats. Okay. But I, yeah, I'm trying, you know, trying to help shed Magic that, wand? Do you have a magic wand? that image. Magic I, wand? I don't have a magic wand. The tuxedo and the cape is traditional. Those, those are, uh, those are the, classy. I thought they required yeah. uh, accoutrement magician. for a musician. Magician. And, I, and, uh, and, that too. And, <laughs> and a musician as well. But I, did, I had that face. We were talking about Lance Burton off the air. I had that Lance Burton face where mm -hmm. I would put that tuxedo on and. Ah. Make doves appear, but there's something about like when you're 14 and owning a tuxedo that is that just doesn't and seem you, right. You have to take care of the doves too. And the doves, yeah. 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 A lot of work when they you're 14. You know what doves eat? Uh, dove dove chow. Dove chow. Dove chow. Purina dove chow. Purina dove chow. <laughs> I'm sure they do. I'm sure they make it. Uh, now you um, were a longtime host on television of uh, Cupcake Wars, Cupcake which Wars. is now on Netflix. It is. Uh, is it, it is. The war rages on now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nine right. years of production on the Food Network. Nine Jeez. years. Wow. That might be America's longest war. But you're a very slender <laughs> man, so you, you, you never you never ate a cupcake. Diabetes apparently. won the war, sadly, in the end. Now oh, uh, it's my understanding we're going to try to do another magic trick on the radio. That is your understanding right. is correct. Since we don't know what you're going to do. Is this the, the kind we can what do? We play this by is. I thought this would be interesting play. for the listeners i have this is a, a a lucky die i have i'll show and we're filming this so if they yeah, wanted to okay, watch right. it later on this is a pretty big die could, yeah. one Paradise. through six do you As want to hand that to, to uh, bob down there to me oh all right let uh, me take hmm, uh, there's some, something strange chick? about this does that feel weird chick? <laughs> no no not at all actually uh, this feels like a regular uh, die yeah. so bob think of a number from one to six don't say it but turn it so that number's up and then put your hand on the die Okay. And tell me when you got a, a number that you like my hand, locked in there. My hand is on the die. Hands on the die, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's 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 a number from one to six. I want you just to say one, two, three, four, five, six, monotone. And then we'll see if I can pick it up in your voice. Maybe the listeners will hear it as well. Just a, a little, a tell, if you will. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was subtle. Mm. It was subtle. You know, I'm going to say... Because, I mean, that was funny, but I think the number you sped through was two. I think it was two. Is it two? You get... It's two. It is two. Okay. Because <laughs> he went one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. which All is right. kind of a misdirect. Now, maybe that was... Warlock! He's a warlock! Warlock! <laughs> warlock! Okay, how the hell did that All right, him. How did he do I'll that? Do, because we could try it again, but it gets hard over time because you get very self-aware of your voice. That's a good trick. That's a nice it's trick. A, you know, it's a little psychological Here, you do it with Chick? That's a gorgeous piece. Of, that's a gorgeous piece of business. Wow, <laughs> gorgeous. Now what do I do? Just, just what do I do? I'm gonna look away. Turn, think of a number from one to six. Turn it so that number's up. Put your hand on it. Okay. Christy's watching and me. Put my hand. Right yeah, now. she's yes. on to He's me. She's looking. like, "Where okay, is no he, cheating? Is got he my hand in a mirror? Okay. I'm not cheating. Your hands on it. I'm, my right. hands on it, baby. Okay, I'm gonna turn your way now. Is that all right? Okay. Go now ahead. you have to uh, say, say one through six. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, gosh. Okay, see, that was uh, your that radio voice is very good. Go yes, backwards. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five. Is it five? I felt something with five. Please tell me is it's it five. five. It'd be is embarrassing it five? if it's not. Zoom in. Five. It's, it's five. five. <laughs> okay, that's the greatest trick I've ever seen. We're oh, hanging my. out with... He's uh, God. That's who that is. We're hanging He's out God. with Justin You're Milman. God. We're wow, doing...
filled with fat. It said uh, this fat is not edible. It's used for something else. Non potable fat. Tanker. Ew. Here's one of the fattest things I've ever done. <laughs> oh God. They once uh, somebody once put a sign on my back that said this fat is not edible. It is just used for other uses. <laughs> Is that what you wanted, Chick? <laughs> uh, Tom Simmons is our guest. You were, I understand you've been to Afghanistan, I assume, on, on one of the uh, USO-type tours. The, uh, the comics on duty. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, good, yeah. good for you. Afghanistan is desolate, man. Everything is dirt. Every building, every structure is like dirt. We don't need satellite guided bombs. We just should drop water balloons. That muddy. Turn that place into mud and farmland, and it'll be great. Right. <laughs> have you run this strategic idea by the people at the yeah. Pentagon? Yeah. You can yeah, save us uh, a lot of money. Hey, this man. is positively we're launching brilliant. a massive uh, hydro attack. That's uh, what we're going to do. And, uh, All of these fire bombs are merely drawing it out. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24-7. It's not on air. It's online. Bob and Tom. Bob. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Super Bowl week. As we await the most important football game in the history of the world this year is coming up on Sunday. Do you have a specific Super Bowl snack that you only prepare for the Super Bowl? I do not. Mm. I do not. I didn't know if there was a tradition where you had to have... I lean toward Chinese. I like the Chinese oh, really? food or whatever oh, okay. whatever we think Chinese food is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. Can I write down a joke that I can't do? No. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. <laughs> Hang on. Ace has something. <laughs> no, I was going to ask you what your go-to. <laughs> My go-to what? Chinese food. Oh. Uh, I, li I like chicken on a stick. I'm a simple man. Wow. Uh, I'll eat... Uh, no, no. You mean simple ton. <laughs> Possibly. I'm so simple, I don't know what simpleton means, but all right. Those are good. Yeah, chicken on a stick. Oh. I like chicken lo mein. I like the lo mein. I don't care for the rice. Much. The spaghetti? Mm. Chinese spaghetti? It's Chinese spaghetti. Oh, it's ah, awesome. yeah. yeah, I'm off the rice. That's good stuff. I like the crab uh, rangoon. I like to say rangoon. <laughs> I like that very I, I remember much. last year's Super Bowl, I spent uh, building a uh, box to hold Valentine's. Is that right? Yeah, for the entire game. It was very elaborate. Did you have to build... Two of them, or just for the just, one? No, it was just one. It, it had it has uh, a plastic cutouts and glitter and glue. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> was we fun. had bags. How much did was, she uh, do? <laughs> you know, so I would have her do some okay. stuff. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I'm building a shadow box right now for. Uh, what grade stuff. are you in now? Third grade. Fourth grade? <laughs> Last night I was doing uh, uh, what was it? Fifth grade math. Oh, how's that coming? Ah, <sighs> you forget about all that stuff. Yeah, you don't have to use it anymore. Yeah. I'm not saying I occasionally grab a calculator, <laughs> but uh, it's fun. Mm. Uh, it's, it's fun. Now, um, I had a bag. We put bags in the windows for Valentine's Day. Bags? And you would put, yeah, a little white, uh, they look like uh, donut bags. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, bags. And uh, <laughs> where, where, in what windows? Uh, like third, fourth grade. And my, uh, you'll get yours. Hang At on. School? Oh, that's cool. And so people just went around and just dropped Valentine's in there, or, or not. Oh, oh, oh. no, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah, yeah. I, I put a, I, I ended up putting my, one of my Valentines in my bag. They, oh, yes. That's well. Big. They eventually fixed that by you have to give them to everyone. Is that That's right? When yeah. I was in elementary yeah. school, well, I was born too early, wasn't I? <laughs> oh. Everybody gets a trophy. Now, uh, Pat. Yeah. Uh, you told me you have an email you want to read. Yeah, I do. Well, I'm going to sing the email. It's so good. Oh, that, oh, that, oh how about hell. this? Here we go. Got an email from Todd. Love your songs, Pat. Love Bob and Tom. I listen every day. You know that Tom Petty song? He calls free fallen. Well, I have an idea. You could play. You could write a song about a guy who goes commando instead of singing free fallen. Sing this Patty G. The guy's free. Free ballin', get it, Pat? <laughs> Thanks, Todd. <laughs> I appreciate you writing. I never heard that one before. And if it sounds like sarcasm, 
in my voice, Todd, because of course I've heard that dumb idea before. Hey, Todd, how about a lumberjack singing tree falling for a salesman and he's cold calling for a beekeeper, Todd, and he's singing bee pollen. How about we leave Tom Petty's song alone, Todd? You let me write my own stuff. Tom's on my ass all the time. And that's bad enough. Now, wait a minute. I'm free. You know, it's not that bad, Todd. Free ball and keep listening, Todd. From up there in Michigan. I, I, from Michigan. I, I, I will tell you, I'd never heard the phrase free ball. Is that what really? they call oh, yeah. commando? Free ball? Yeah, no free kidding. Yeah. No. Wow. Man. Yeah. I can't I believe you missed that. that. When's the last time you went commando for any extended period of time? Oh, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, that would have to be after gym class in high school. I, oh, really? I certainly don't do that now. No. Yeah. I got to keep them, uh, the boys right up here yeah. next to me. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get up and realize that oh, the dogs have to go out right away and just get dressed quickly and then... Once I'm dressed, go, what the hell? I'm just going in the pajama work. pants or whatever? No, no, but I mean, I'll throw on some jeans oh. and no underwear. Oh. I haven't done it yet, but I've got a swell privacy fence. And I think I could uh, I could just go out there uh, au naturel, if you will, right in the backyard. With Do you your go dog. wood on that yeah. one? Yeah. Hmm? To go wood with your privacy fence? Yeah, that's, 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 that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, you're in business. Uh, you ever go commando, Josh? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a while, though. But it's very similar to what you're talking about. You're in a hurry, I'm, you know. I'm rushed. Yeah, 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 I'll get up, just throw on the jeans. Yeah. And then... And, but don't you kind of feel good all day going... Hey. It's not terrible. In the you summer, it can get a little rough. You tell people, like... Like you're waiting in line at the <laughs> Piata to get one of those delicious <laughs> salads, and you say, hey, yeah. Uh, you know, I recommend that uh, that Caesar. By the way, I'm not wearing any underwear. You know what else I recommend? <laughs> <laughs> Free ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ace, I'm sure you never go commando. When I'm at home. Well, what's the difference between commando and holes in your underwear? Uh, uh, that's right. <laughs> that, he, that he farts in. Uh, well, I'm sorry to bring it that I when brought I'm, it up. When I'm at home, it's commando. Really? Oh, yeah. Do you oh, wear yeah. trousers or are you wearing sweats? What a lovely uh, home. Former sweats, yes. Okay. For, that that have what? holes in them. Former And you like, farted holes in your sweatpants? There is comfortable sweats. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He farts holes in his sweatpants. No, 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 loaded on vodka over there. there. Okay, well, uh, Christy, you ever go commando? Pungent. Ah, very rarely. <laughs> is that uh, uh, done by fewer of the times it's common by ladies? Right now, ladies? No, I told you, almost all my girlfriends are commando now. Commando. Almost, I mean, like, I can name five right now. <laughs> I don't won't, wear, but... That don't wear... Panties. Yeah, no panties. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but even in the winter. Yeah. Don't say panties. <laughs> Your friends don't wear panties in the winter. <laughs> like no. That. Just as wonderful as I know. Do you think it adds an extra layer of warmth? They're not very. I would think they're not flannel. <laughs> How do you know this? Do they tell you, or do you just you drop a fork and look over and go, "Oh my God!" Are you kidding? Girls tell everybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting Sharon stoned. That. Like I've said, how does that come up in casual girls, conversation? Girls talk, guys don't. <laughs> I don't understand candies. it. You can tell. Uh, any guy can pretty much tell. When a girl's not wearing underwear? Sure. When she's de depending on what she's wearing. Yeah. You can see whether or not there's a panty line or not. And sure. You like that going through the hardware store and she's not wearing panties, a little short skirt, and she does a twirl for you, Josh. You like that? Yes. <laughs> Why, <thank you> very <laughs> much. Sounds, yes. That sounds terrific. <laughs> well, <laughs> terrific. Well, right there on. by the screws. <laughs> uh, I'm coming you up. You pick up one of those screws. You say, this we, is you and me later. Coming up, we have some sporting news. Uh, we have a bat infestation. We have a Chinese spy pigeon. And the bears are up to it again in the Charmin commercials. No. That's right. You heard me. You remember I mentioned the Charmin commercials before, and they're talking about enjoy the go with Charmin mm -hmm. and the little baby bears sitting at the breakfast table eating salmon flakes. You know this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're coming back for the Super Bowl? Well, there's more. Okay, good. We'll look forward to that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. Hi, man, it's Donnie Baker. Guess what? I saved up some money and bought this new badass spy camera. I swear to God I did. Check out this bad boy. 
See, I've got some Velcro here that I can put it right on my tap out cap. Keep it right here on the side, nobody would ever notice. They'll just think it's like a pacemaker or inhaler. Plus, I've got full coverage connected right here to my pager. So between these two things, I'm basically like a Navy cell or a coal miner, except now my head's above water. Check this out. Hey Chloe, I'm Donnie Baker with the Bob and Tom Show. I'm one of the sound guys. I need to put one of these lavender microphones on you just to make sure we can, you can run this anywhere you want to. I'm a big fan of 24. Hey, is Martin Sheenson really full-blooded Cherokee or is that just a rumor or, or bourbon legend? Is that, um, here, maybe we should I, go this end first. Really, but hey, yeah, it's a lavender I, microphone. It's just Donnie, a What the hell are you doing? I'm putting a lavender, oh. I, You've got a restraining order. Oh, You're not I even forgot. supposed well, to be. That's, that's so a different sorry. permit. So that's sorry. a different, I'll be right back in a second. I'm we'll so that's a different permit. That he doesn't close. work I was that close. Get. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Hi, man, it's Donnie Baker. Guess what? I saved up some money and bought this new badass spy camera. I swear to God I did. Check this thing out. Perfect. Office supplies. Man, you can do a billion things with stuff. Staple remover, notepads. Looks like we got some erasers. There's over a million textiles in here. What? Oh, I have an idea. I swear to God, I just hit the jackpot. I learned this from my mom, Phyllis. Say so you take the post-it note, which appears to be just a common post-it note. Then you take your pot you keep in a Parmesan cup, put your pot right here in the middle, and automatically you got free rolling papers. I swear to God, man, once you inhale the adhesive, oh, you'll get people hooked. It's like a Fortune 500 buzz. This will be the next plot line on Breaking Bad 4. Well, let's get to work. Hey, man. Hey, Donnie. Uh, don't think you're supposed to be back here. It's okay, man. I shut the door. Look, I come loaded for bear. I know how much you like this stuff. Don't start tweaking. I made these myself with post-it notes. Here's your free one. It's sticky. Well, how else you think you're supposed to get hooked on it, dick? Go ahead and hit it with a lighter, and this will keep you from storing that scotch tape at Christmas time. But wait, I want payment now. How I much? want my payment now. 20 bucks, like usual. I don't have any cash. You take credit card? Uh, yeah, what am I gonna do with that? Run it up the crack of my ass? I don't... There's your other joint. Come on, Donnie. I gotta go. for Price is Right to come on, and I'm the idiot. Who's this idiot? Bob and Tom in the morning, and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern, on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. This is Jim Gaffigan. Men, are you looking to add a little dance to your pants? Are you hoping to turn heads without costly and painful surgery? Then visit the Bob and Tom Personal Care Outlet Mall and experience the newest way to grow your fro. Hi, I'm Chick McGee. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but Chick, hair hides inches. Well, that's only when you're naked. See, when I put King Kong behind closed doors, I want the ladies to notice a bulge that rivals those old Jim Palmer ads in Sports Illustrated. <laughs> Thanks to this, I can achieve that look in just a few short weeks. From the makers of miracle Grow, it's the Pubador. <laughs> the Pubador starts at the root system, giving your patch a major poof that only the latest in Frigamol technology can provide. Wow, Chick. Is that an airbag in your pants? <laughs> or are you just happy to see me? Let's just say my curly fries have gone home style. Oh. 
The Cubidor is a simple three-step system. First, apply the Miracle Mix to desired region. Place those puny pubes in curlers and then let the Cubidor leave you high and dry. Wow, it looks like a blooming onion. <laughs> the Cubidor, now available at the Bob and Tom Personal Care Outlet Mall. Warning, not intended for beards, backs, or buttocks. Ask for the Cubidor by name. Pube Adore. <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24-7. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> We appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Right <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. <laughs> morning, Bob and Tom show. Good morning. How you guys doing? Fine. We're a little stunned, but we're okay. I uh, got one for you. I was telling them uh, when I was in a service in Germany, I hooked up with another service member, and uh, she said, uh, "Choke me, you dirty." Bastard, I'm going to go like a freight train. <laughs> hey, no, hold on. Yeah, I, I, I Write that down, Chick. Choke me, you, you dirty bastard. bastard. I'm going to go like, like a, a freight train. train. All right. I like the looks of that. Yes, I like that very much. Oh, my. Yeah, she was kind of weird. She used to like me to choke her with uh, that rubber surgical tubing. <laughs> <laughs> that takes a little work, doesn't it? Yeah, that, that oh, takes a little work. Yeah, now, I think that's probably to stop her from farting, Tom. <laughs> hey, this is Ron White, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. It's a great places. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. There's Hello. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Hey, Chick. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Wait for that Ace Cosby joke of the day. Uh, joke du jour. <laughs> I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Now, we were talking about uh, Howard Hughes for some reason the other day. We were? We and, were. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, I forget which one of you mentioned that uh, he had uh, famously designed a brassiere. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh right, yeah. There was a big thing mm -hmm. with him and uh, Jane Russell. I think the movie oh, was called right. The Outlaw. Mm -hmm. And um, his goal was to make it look like she wasn't wearing a brassiere while wearing a brassiere. Yeah. Um, but we actually were just talking about what these super rich guys end up doing in, in, in general. And you know, typically they're, you know, buying hippos or tigers or whatever <laughs> but um got this nice letter this is really kind of an unusual story this comes to us from uh, Dwayne J he writes you mentioned uh, Jane Russell's brassiere <laughs> my first job ever was working at the Valley Music Hall in Bountiful Utah this sounds kind of like your gig remember way back when Pat when you were working for the uh, Kenley players and driving oh, yeah. driving the celebrities around an intern yeah uh Dwayne writes one of my duties was to drive the various stars to and from the airport one night I was summoned backstage it seems Jane Russell had forgotten her brazier <laughs> she gave me the key to her apartment and told me what dresser her bra was in sure enough her black lacy but very supportive bra was where she said it was I picked it up and handed it to her as a 16-year-old, I watched her performance with a new appreciation for life. I bet. <laughs> and what a great to letter. To this day, black lacy bras do it for. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure it was substantial. Uh, but uh, th that, of course, uh, leads to this request. This uh, comes to us uh, from, uh, well, it's about um, Mr. Uh, Haywood Banks and a, uh, and a very large brassiere. Oh, how I do get sentimental About me carefree days as a lad we never had toys that were store-bought. We would improvise with things that we had. We made forts out of cardboard boxes. Yardsticks were swords or were spears. But of all these things, none gave the hours of fun. Like me mother's gigantic brazier. <laughs> oh, me mother's. Oh, me mother's. Me mother's gigantic brazier. It was of the finest label, canvas, lace, and stainless cable. Me mother's gigantic brazier. Yeah! Oh, I leapt from the roof of the garage. Though I was but six or seven years. 
Oh, I would have broke me back, but I clung fast to the straps of me mother's gigantic brassiere. <laughs> oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brassiere. Wing nuts, cleats, and spoiler, brass grommets, and cup holder on me mother's gigantic brassiere. <laughs> We tied the bra between two trees. The neighbor boys wore, they did declare. We ended the attack with six pumpkins and two cats flung from me mother's gigantic brassiere. Oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brassiere. Delicate flower appliques, eight track tape and safety chains on me mother's gigantic brassiere. <laughs> One time we used it to slow down our dragster or parasail behind our boat. Then there was the time it was used to airlift an injured skier <laughs> off a treacherous mountain slope. <laughs> But most, I think, of my father's pride when wash day it was done as he hoisted it up the telephone pole <laughs> to pillow in the sun. <laughs> oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brassiere with an awning and screen door could sleep two family of four it's me mother's gigantic brassiere oh me mother's oh me mother's me mother's gigantic brassiere reinforced hydraulic winch reflective tape and three-point hitch on me mother's <laughs> gigantic brassiere Thank you very much, Haywood, uh, <laughs> sending that out uh, to Dwayne and his encounter with Jane Russell's. Knock, Jane, knock. Jane, who's, who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the bathtub. I'm drowning. <laughs> that's, 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 that's uh, Ace, your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a C. I'll oh, see you. Thank you very much. Oh, incredibly uh, average. Uh, time to return to the uh, sports desk with Chick McGee here on the Bob and Tom program. What have you got over there? Let's talk about Caitlin Clark. She's, uh, of course, from Iowa and now officially the number two on the all-time women's college basketball scoring list with 3,462 career points. She's already made college basketball history. The senior guard still has much of the 23-24 season remaining and is well on her way to becoming the all-time leading scorer, passing Kelsey Plum. She's about 66 points behind Ms. Plum. Uh, last season, Clark put together historic stats during the women's NCAA tournament, including her first-ever 40-point triple-double. Triple uh, Naismith Player of the Year kept that momentum going into this season. And her last outing on February 3rd, Clark double-double, uh, 38 points and 12 assists. Hawkeyes beat Maryland 93-85. So congratulations to Caitlin. And speaking of basketball, Auburn basketball player John Broom, B-R-O-O-M-E. Mm. We're going to go with Broom. Okay. Broomy. Broom. Um... He said he plays for Auburn. Pay attention to me. <laughs> Is this going to be a sweep joke? You're going to like this. <laughs> Auburn basketball player John Broom thought a Mississippi plan, who they were playing, Tom. I'm listening. I don't believe you. <laughs> he said a Mississippi... This. Fan was trying to rattle him by touching his jersey as Mr. Broom <laughs> saved a ball going out of bounds Saturday <laughs> night. So he brushed the hand away. Yes. And he found out in seconds it wasn't any old, any old old Miss fan. It was Morgan Freeman sitting courtside. Oh. oh. The Morgan oh. Freeman. Why is he trying to touch him? Who oh. attends? He was a star? So yeah, you're right. Celebrities are Would allowed you... to <laughs> to brush whoever they like. Have you ever had the uh, pleasure of sitting in courtside? No, no. I I've, I've done it once or twice, and I uh, I don't touch anybody or anything. I'd be so nervous. Yes, I, yeah. I was. Uh, I th the Phoenix Suns. One of the games I sat courtside. Charles Barkley. Isn't the biggest player, but boy, he sure seems like it when he's like a <laughs> foot from you. Sure. And he had a big bald head, Tom. He's quite the player. <laughs> One time I sat courtside, Shaquille O'Neal fell down right in front of me. Boy. 
And they certainly and he do. is gigantic. They <laughs> use salty language. Yes. Oh, yeah. On the yeah. court. And uh, apparently a lot of very sexually active mothers. <laughs> and mother is only half of a uh, <laughs> half of the word. And uh, so Morgan told him, "Hey, just keep playing." When Broom apologized, I'm sorry, Morgan. I didn't know it was you. <laughs> I didn't know it was Red from Shawshank. I'm sorry. But it is real weird that you were reaching out and trying to touch my jersey. <laughs> so Morgan said, "Just keep playing." That's all he said. Oh, just keep playing. All right. So that's sportsmanship. Tom. He should have said, "Get busy playing." Yeah, or get or busy, get busy dying. Oh, 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 oh that's right. a good reference there. You know, this world's gotten all uh, all sped up, hasn't it? John? Got himself in a, a big damn hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it much here. Is that Bricks? I, What's that? <laughs> yeah, Brooks. 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 Why do I think, think I'll Brooks? leave. Uh, <laughs> Auburn uh, beat uh, Morgan Freeman in uh, Mississippi 91. 77. So there you go. Morgan goes home sad. More sports coming up, including rubber duckies. I'm, You're the one. I miss Jake. <laughs> rubber ducky. Isn't that Jake his mouse? His little bird. Little bird. Oh, it's a bird. You take care. <laughs> you take care, Jake. Uh, coming up, we have um, uh, things you shouldn't do in an Uber. Yeah. And also we have... Uh, rubber duckies. Did I say rubber duckies? Yeah, mm -hmm. Something you shouldn't do to, in, to a taxi cab. Uh, so we've got uh, two uh, of interesting vehicles in the news coming up this morning. Um, also, uh, Snoop Dogg sort of in the news. Right now, I've got a letter here. Uh, it says, uh, Dear Bob and Tom Show, uh, thanks for reminding me about Valentine's Day coming up. I've been hearing you guys talk about Steven Singer Jewelers for many years and his gold dip roses. Today at work, I heard you mention it again. I realized the deadline's getting close, so I went to IHateStevenSinger.com, got the Purple Passion Gold Dip Rose for my girlfriend. Can't wait till she sees it. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, Mr. E in Wichita, Kansas. Well, Mr. E, you're more than welcome, and I'll tell everybody about it right now because uh, it's getting closer and closer. And Valentine's Day is a, it's an obligation. Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. you got to do something. How about something really nice? Christy, do you have on that bracelet? I do. Look, you could get the bracelet, wrap it around the rose, the beautiful Malibu pink rose. What a double double shot, if oh, you will. Okay, all right. Yeah, if you want to just do the rose, it's, it is, in fact, Malibu pink. That's the big color this year, but you can get whatever color you want. Uh, now, um, you can get it, of course, by going to IHateStevenSinger.com. And the rose comes in a beautiful gift box. There's also a, of course, the free lifetime guarantee and a beautiful Valentine's Day card. So you're ready to rock when this thing arrives, and it'll be shipped the day you ordered if you get your order in before 2 o'clock Eastern time. So go online right now, IHateStevenSinger.com. You can do it right from that phone in your hand. And uh, what is the name of the specific bracelet that you've got? This is called the At Last Bracelet. It's beautiful. It has little round diamonds, and then it has beautiful baguettes, and it's all a beautiful safety clasp. The best part... $248. Looks vintage. It looks beautiful. I hate stevensinger.com. Check out the bracelet. All kinds of great stuff there. Earrings, etc., etc. And of course, those gold dipped, real roses dipped in real gold and hand painted. And uh, you can uh, save them forever because they're dipped in gold. They're not going anywhere. People collect them. Now, uh, once again, to find them, you go to I hate stevensinger.com. Coming up. Is this pigeon a spy? Well, you'll find out that it's as stupid as it sounds, as stupid as it sounds, this pigeon has good, been in... Good thing I ain't a canary. Has been, has been in jail. It's been in the stir. We'll find out what happened to the pigeon. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. Hey, Bob and Tom, this is the Static Shack. This is a real recording studio. All this stuff is paid for, and this is basically where bands come in, record their tapes so that they can play their tapes on the radio and stuff. I could have had a recording studio. It's nice, too, but I've got a boat instead. And my band's coming here. To... What? Can I get some help, man? Dusty, I'm the lead singer. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of busy, plus I'm taking my break now. If, if you need help, I'll get a girl to join the band. 
Basically, you have to have an audition couch in a studio. It's state law. That way anybody that comes in knows that they're trying out knows it's gonna be a fair chance. I'm basically auditioning backup singers right now. Just call my pager. Pretty sure we can make it happen. I swear to God we can. This is my favorite part of the recording studio. Not every band has this. We got goad sloggers. Look at that goad sloggers. We got Funyuns and we got Jaegers. It's the lead singer salad bar. I love goad sloggers. Goad sloggers is basically the only liquor invented that looks like it has goadfish turds floating around. But the fact remains, that's 14 karat goad. When you drink all of this, you can crap a promise ring. By the time this is called the Control Panel Console Operation Board, I probably know more about this stuff than anybody I know of. Me and Angel Skinner did it on here once. I swear to God we did. We had to stop though, because her butt kept getting feedback. The pizza barn had no idea it could get this hard. Eighty dollar tab tried to split it four ways, but that don't work when the drummer never pays. Scotty got the pizza boner, bought the beer, then our waitress says, Are we finished here? Let me put the tip in, cause you're so hot. Let me put the tip in, I swear to God. Let me put the tip in, I love your hair. Put the tip in, it's only fair. I swear to God, I'm the best tipper. I lay it right here on the table to frame it. Long dark hair hanging down her back. An ass for days causing a pork attack. So fire ass hot, she should be on stage. A meat lover's dream, making men my way. Let me put the tip in, step over here. Let me put the tip in. Let me put the tip in, I swear to God, let me put the tip in, check out this one. Hey, that's only 10%, baby. Look, you want to see a little more? There's 20% right in your face. I swear to God, you have to accept my tip. It's state law. Now, when I know how to set the mood, baby, how about a guitar solo? No, not the whole thing, just the tip. Scotty Winkler! <laughs> Let me put the tip in, I swear to God. Let me put the tip in, give me the nod. Let me put the tip in, try your card. Let me put the tip in, of the salad bar. Let me put the tip in, baby. You'll always come out ahead. I swear to God you will. <laughs> That's a cow. good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. <laughs> Every line, time. Line eight, we have a comment. Line eight. Morning, Bob and Tom Show. Hey, this is uh, Scoop in Cape Coral, Florida. Hi, Scoop. Scoop. How are you, sir? I'm all right. How are you? Great. What do you uh, say after sex? Or, or what do you hear? Uh, <laughs> well, I usually hear silence, but I always tell my wife thank you. But usually that's because it's been so damn long since I got any that I'm like a kid getting that first piece of candy. I know. I, know. I hear you, brother. <laughs> tell it, brother. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you I need see. a safe house? Do you need anywhere to go? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. Well, thank so you. I, so she sa so you say thank you to her. Yeah. And she doesn't say you're welcome or the whole thing. Well, no, I usually leave her with that starry-eyed look on her face. Ah, the starry-eyed look. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. No, oh, she's bright. <laughs> <laughs> see, see there. There you go. Christy's Christy's uh, mocking Christy's you. Going, no, there's no such thing as the starry-eyed look. I see. Uh -huh. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, right, thank you for being brave uh, and by thank speaking you. to us. I can't think about the big picture. It's just hard, don't you think, to be human right now? I mean, mm -hmm. we got stresses and pressures. Every I've got suicide bombers and gingivitis. <laughs> you know, something's gonna, yeah. Get, something's gonna get me. Oh, it yeah. is. What do you, oh, I mean, yeah. I do the best I can. You know, I floss twice a day and spy on my neighbor because that's what they said. That's it's what they okay said. To do yeah. that. Keep yeah. your eyes open. Let us know if you see something fishy. That's, that's right. And I don't know. 
You think that's going to work? There was a lady in Florida that gave birth and didn't know she was pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Y- you want that lady watching your back? Really? You want that lady voting? <laughs> you know, yeah. Really? yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm sure she's a nice lady, but something yeah. tells me things get by her. That's all I'm saying. I mean, how do you... Yeah. I, baby. I thought I had indigestion. Yeah. 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 A little backfire yeah. from a burrito the other day. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it's a baby. Uh-huh. Well. Uh-huh. Yeah. Here, can I help you through the x-ray machine, Mr. Otta? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's Super Bowl week. Is everybody ready? For, is this uh, what put chicken wings and guacamole and nachos on the map? Is that, uh, we need that story. How many pounds of chicken wings and guacamole will we consume as oh, Americans? Yeah. This is uniquely American, Tom. Yeah. No, well, and uh, it'll have probably more viewers than any of anything in the history any, of television. Yeah, they they are saying it's going to be the highest rated Super Bowl in history, and the uh, so far the biggest one is 119 million. So there you go. Well, we'll be watching at least will part you, of it. Will you be paying attention? Uh, you know. <laughs> It depends. <laughs> well, you know, he says that about the Super Bowl. Oh, oh. Well, you know. <laughs> What's Mid- wrong with you? I mean, I'll, I'll watch it for a while. I've got <laughs> things to do. I'm busy. Yeah, uh, but you're not. You're not busy. You're busy with being busy. Okay, well, that makes no sense. But, uh, yeah, I've got a lot going on. Um, what do you have going on over there? Nothing. Not a thing. Okay. What are you going to do now? <laughs> it was the NHL. It was the NHL, NHL All Star Game over the weekend. You guys uh, know about this, and yeah. uh, they they don't go east or west or north or south or anything. They pick two players, much like they do in the NBA. So it was the Matthews team against the McDavid team. Uh, just a quick snapshot here: everyone in Canada is named McDavid. That's right. So uh, do they hit pretty hard? <clears throat> no, not in the game. No, not it's, in the uh, All-Star game. No. I mean, they barely move. <laughs> it's very pro bowlish. But I mentioned this to tell you this. Uh, the one, the only, Justin Bieber is a big Toronto fan, and that's where the All-Star game was. And uh, that's Matthew's team, the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. But Justin Bieber was, was at the All-Star game over the weekend, and he was standing behind the bench wearing this coat. What do you think, Tom? Oh, it's people, like... A, people said it reminded them of uh, Mario Kart, I guess. Yeah, the giant mushroom. The giant sure. mushroom. Look at that. Oh, it's very yeah. fancy. Red and red and it's white, like, like red with gigantic white balls on it of some sort. <laughs> Looks warm and cozy. Yeah. yeah. It does look... And he, Looks oh. like the mushroom is very puffy. Mm-hmm. Look at the uh, look at the uh, chunky sweater he's wearing underneath that. Man, oh, that, yeah. That's right up the Chickster's Alley. Oh, yeah. Nice and toasty. Oh, yeah. You get that chunky sweater, Tom, and me and you in front of a fire. <laughs> yeah. That's, and, Tom, and the NHL did something this year where the uh, winner of the skills competition took home a million bucks. There's a little incentive for you. Wow. How about that? Yeah. Winner take all. Your idea, Tom? Canadian or American? Uh, that's a, a good question. <laughs> Isn't the exchange rate pretty much even I right now? Know. <laughs> I was fascinated by that when I was a kid. I would see magazines and it would say, uh, $2 American, two eighty five Canadian. And yeah. Said, what the hell is this? I know. I always wondered what Canada was doing wrong to have to pay more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Are they getting more out of this magazine than I am? What the hell's going on here? I had to convert uh, meters to uh, feet this morning. Oh, no kidding? Is that right? Wait a minute, or whatever, kilometers to miles. We got the urologist? I can never remember that. Yeah, because you're (laughs) (laughs) you're hanged down so long. Just meters? How do you you want this, Doc? Meters or uh, feet? (laughs) (laughs) Help me out here, Doc. Can I? um... Oh, and uh, finally this morning in sports. Minor League Baseball, one of my favorite teams. You know how I like the Minor League Baseball teams and their names? The Akron Rubber Ducks. That is good. Are rebranding themselves after a salad dressing. Is that right? (laughs) The Rubber Ducks will become the Akron White French for just one night, July 19th. The move is part of the team's Only in Akron series. The team announced that it will also rebrand for a game in June to the Barberton Fried Chicken and Hot Rice. Yum! Barberton is a uh, city up there, Akron and yeah. Toledo and all that. According to Cleveland.com, ha, 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 ha. 
White French dressing is one of the uniquely Akron culinary identities. No kidding. Are you familiar with it? I am not. I'm not either. White French salad dressing ticket package includes a game ticket and themed adjustable hat, hot dog, and cost... No. Oh, you buy a hot dog too, I bet. And cost $40. Ace, 40 bucks a ticket. Would you, you know go? the most famous Frenchman from that's Akron? Been, of that's been pricey for minor league. Well, the famous Frenchman from Akron. Uh, LeBron James. LeBron, indeed. <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Akron white French merchandise available at rubberducks.milbstore, all one word, dot com. And in the Rubber Ducks team shop. Doesn't the Akron white French sound like a kind of a twist on the Cleveland steamer? Oh, you gave her the old Akron White French. Gave her the old Akron White French. How's she doing? She's okay. (laughs) Someone gave her the Akron Black French. She couldn't walk for a while. Oh, I see. What's in regular French dressing? Just uh, sugar. (laughs) (laughs) It's very sweet. I just remember. And is it true that uh, that Thousand Island is ketchup and mayonnaise? Is that true? Or is that something I just I don't know if it's actually true or or not. Is that white trash, Thousand Island? Yeah. I think that might be. You know, there's a team, and I think it's a rugby team. Am I getting this right? Or maybe a soccer team called the Red Blacks. And they're very popular. The Red Blacks? The Red Blacks. Who, yeah. What? what uh... I think they were they were the Reds, and then they were the Blacks, and they merged. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, yeah. Now they're the Red Blacks. It's kind of cool. It's very cool, yeah. Okay, well, but the White French, the white uh, French. will be uh, in, in Akron. How about that? A rubber Duck for a Rubber Ducks game. Very, very nice. Do you remember the Rubber Duck song? By Ernie from Sesame Street. Yes, Robert Ducky. <laughs> I don't think I knew until you guys told me that that was a radio hit. Oh, I thought oh it was just God. on Sesame huge, Street. Huge, huge hit. By hit, I hit the button. And see, yeah, but I mean, how do you hate Rubber Ducky by Ernie? I just do. Sorry, I've, I've told you before the things I dislike. It's, it's unreasonable of me to dislike. So you guys would play that, and then like Zeppelin? Well, no, 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 on no. Rock no, we play. Oh, okay, yeah, we play like that. Then into Tony Orlando, <laughs> and, or right, the Captain right. and Tennille. Love will keep gotcha. together. <laughs> So I think more, I was probably the the most. You guys were kind of an album rock. T- I did top forty for a short period of time. I did top forty for two years. I did mm-hmm. adult contemporary, and I never understood that <laughs> name. I, Tom, adult contempo. <laughs> I never Tom, got, what does that mean? I mean, is, it means soft well, rock. Let's be. Uh, Rubber Ducky isn't that far off from what did the fox say? <laughs> or right? Baby Shark. Or, or yes. um, uh, Hello some, Mada. Some yep. of those other Hello Fada. Uh, some of those other radio hits. Yeah. Yes. Now where do you stand on Rubber Biscuit? Oh, I love Rubber Biscuit. Well, when the Blues Brothers do it, it's fun. It's not something I would put on. Uh, I think I'll have a wish sandwich. Yeah. That's where you get a piece of bread and another piece of bread <laughs> and wish you had some meat. That was very good. <laughs> What's that? Dan Aykroyd from uh, Rubber Biscuit. I don't know. That's a great time. Yeah, it's vastly superior here to Rubber Ducky. That's what I wanted to tell you. The NFL Pro Bowl game looked like, because they had the tug of war, they had all kinds of things other than the flag football game yesterday. It looked like Scooby-Doo's Laugh Olympics is what it was. <laughs> <laughs> honest to God, did. It's like the Yogi Yoo-Hoo's and the, right, right. And the Fred Flintstone. <laughs> did they at least look like they were having a good time? Uh, yeah. They were laughing in their bucket hats, yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Yeah, you know, being all millionaire Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, the beautiful women in the stand yes. and, and their wives. Wanting to have their children. <laughs> you okay, know. thank you very much. Squeezing a condom, uh, hoping to get some sperm yeah. out. Is that sports? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Buddy, this is what you farted Once again, that is Tom's daughter saying Chick McGee. This is what you farted for. <laughs> You're Does she still that like that? Correct. <laughs> is she still what? Does she still like that she did that? Oh, yeah. yeah. She's I, getting I, to that age now where yeah. she's going to start going, I figure we have Dad. a couple years. <laughs> now, but we, we also have this one where, where I brought in. Uh, I like the. I like the. We don't play this My other this daughter, one Hart, and, uh, yeah. and uh, my niece, Edie, and they, they did this one. Chip buggy. <laughs> They're even littler. I love that one. About seven. 
Okay, thank well, you very much. Wait until uh, who does that Hart or Finn? Which one does that? Was the original Hart and Edie, yeah. The original, the original's Finn, yeah. Finn, uh, wait until Finn starts. Mm -hmm. uh, Anton said I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> who the hell's Anton? <laughs> Anton. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, so we, and back to the uh, rubber ducks. Uh, so do you want to get to see if we get one of those hats for the Akron White French? Absolutely. I'm, well, I'm, you think it's, uh, is I'm it, getting a hat regardless. Is it offensive to Haitians? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What you're about to say? I, yeah. <laughs> I know this is offensive to you. The White French. The White French. Oh. <laughs> this is offensive to you, evidently. Oh, rubber ducky, yeah. you're the one. Enough. Enough. Time, <laughs> of fun. Fun. Having a good time. Rubber yeah. ducky, yeah. I masturbate with you. you. Oh, no, See, Ernie. Now you, now you Ernie. 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 Well, that actually Ernie. leads in the that tub I, with me. Uh, <laughs> leads to a story. He's that, that leads to actually two different stories in the news today. Health experts are worried about the growing popularity of masturbation abstinence. Mm. There are several online communities popularizing abstinence from masturbation, which claims that it can help kick your porn addiction or give you superpowers, such as more confidence and more romantic interest from women. Health experts, however, say there's no science backing those claims. <laughs> Neurologist Ashley Winter said, quote, I've seen claims on social media saying that semen retention can boost your testosterone levels, cure erectile dysfunction, make you more manly, make you stronger, cure depression, make you more successful, and clear your skin. She goes on to say there's no medical evidence it does any of those things. Experts now worry these spaces are endorsing inaccurate medical information and exasperating mental health problems. Hmm. Some online communities include 4chan, is that what it is? Reddit's uh, NoFap and a company called NoFap LLC. No foul. You know, if you're wondering if you're addicted to porn or you might have a problem, I heard this story one time. A, a friend of a friend was taking uh, sexual awareness or so, in college, some sort of uh, long-range, a doctorate in sexology or whatever is what the, the person was, was uh, trying to attain. And uh, she was told about a gentleman who uh, caused uh, irritation and bleeding mm. because uh, he was excessively uh, excessively. That's chronic. So if you've got that problem, perhaps you might want to just put it down for a couple days. Mm. Man, but th this is a th these are organizations <laughs> that's that advocate. Oh, okay. They is help. this so? This is like dry January. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Except, yeah. except it's evolving. Dry sock January. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I looked up uh, for this FAP stuff. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it says, uh, it says uh, per the website, nofap.com, um, and I, it, help me here, Josh, it says the term emerged from manga comics. Oh, it was the... Uh, is it manga or manja? <laughs> manga is what I've always heard, yeah. Uh, it's uh, onomatopoeia representing the sound of masturbation. Mm. Apparently, fap. Huh. I'm not sure... Okay. <laughs> well, really? Tom, will you tell him to stop? I was just giving him a slow clap for getting it right. Oh, okay. oh that's what that was. Oh, please. So, in, in any event. Grow up. Uh, so they're asking, uh, so I, I, to, to review them, this doc, thank you, that's nice. The do this doctor is saying this is ridiculous, it doesn't. No, there's more medical studies to prove that uh, masturbation helps with Healthy, prostate health. Uh, yeah. and, sure. Uh, especially in public. You don't want to be... <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, that can actually be bad for your health. <laughs> you mean going to prison and all? Yeah. <laughs> well, that actually leads to this next story, uh, which just by chance came across the Newswire also this morning. Do you have it? Which one? Yeah, there, there, the, were, there were about, no clues. Yeah. About yeah. The, no, no clues at all. Any story at all like, came okay, over? Uh, about the Uber? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Uber driver. Um, Florida police arrested a man for allegedly masturbating in the back of an Uber. You're not allowed to do that? No, according to court documents. <laughs> the driver picked up 46-year-old Jason Haggerty in Tampa, drove him to his home in St. Petersburg. The arrest affidavit states the suspect displayed and exposed his male member and proceeded to masturbate How you doing? for the duration of the ride. Hey, watch the road, pal. <laughs> arriving home. 
I don't know if he arrived before he arrived yeah, or arrived. Boy, late. what a bummer. The driver told officers he does not speak English and was not able to tell the man to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you think I that's thought he was alert. encouraging me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought he was going, hey, way to go, buddy. Forty six year old was arrested for exposure of sexual organs. Police stated they believe alcohol played a role in the incident. How often Central How organs. often does that appear in a police report? <laughs> oh, yes. Is driver, there like a box you just check it had drunk? The driver said he used his phone to record the passenger masturbating. The arrest affidavit states in order to continue working, the driver had to personally clean the seminal fluid from his own vehicle. So he did finish. Oh. Yeah. And noted that there was a third unknown person in the vehicle's back seat. What? Hmm? A judge has since ruled the defendant <laughs> shall not use Uber, Lyft, rideshare, or any assisted <laughs> means of transportation <laughs> while this case is pending. Can you imagine if you... What's the uh, Uber <laughs> choice where you can, like, ride with somebody oh, else? share, yeah. <laughs> and you get in. Oh, you don't mind, do you? Yeah, it's okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> this, is what I call, this, is what, this is what I call carjacking. <laughs> um, that is just awful. This yeah. guy, what, do you think he was in a Greyhound? What the hell? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, can't, you can't do that. Take you the want, buzz, pal. You guys check the you don't want to talk? No, no. I, no, I, I always talk to him. I, I've, I've never checked that. Yeah, I always check that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that, that's better than yeah, yeah. That's better than me yelling. Will you shut up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. oh, no, I, I always find it fascinating. Of course. Well, often, <laughs> often, uh, ladies and gents from foreign countries working hard. Uh, yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> I, 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 I always, when I get to, if I'm going to my house, I go and get them a soda and bring it back home. <laughs> they don't want a soda. They want to go home. Yeah, they just want to get you. Nice soda. I leave a nice. By the way, I have They're a. They're supposed uh, to give you a soda. I have a five. I'm a five top rating Uber. Fast forward to these, this poor driver arriving home. Yeah, this guy wouldn't let uh, me leave. He had to get me a pop and then told me about his kids. And one of them has a balcony, if you can believe that. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's you he's talking about. Well, I, then I'm, I'm, I got a five rating. What can I say? I got a five rating. You're handing out free stuff. Um, now, what are they going to do if you get a if you get like a one rating or whatever? They're, they're not going to pick you up. Yeah, I guess. I can guess they, they refuse? Or yeah, why? You know, they don't have to do it. Oh. I, um, when I was uh, one of my secrets when you go to Disney World, yeah. the secret to Disney World is Uber to all the parks. It's much faster than the buses and well worth it. But I remember we got one and the guy said, uh, "Do you mind? I have cameras on." He would tell you right away. That he had cameras pointing at us, yeah. the passengers. Sure. Yeah, I'd go for it, pal. Why he, not? And he explained he'd had a problem before, and, he, and so this way people are going to behave knowing that... I don't blame him at all. Me yeah. either. Well, so, so he's making a TV show? Is that what he's doing? No, he's... If, if, if he's some, a pervert? If something goes wrong, he, he's got a witness. Hmm. It's on camera. Upskirt vids? Uh, <laughs> or that, certainly. Yeah. yeah. You like that, upskirt vids? Uh, I don't know. You look like you would be that kind of guy. <laughs> Yeah, that's what that's right. You know, in the uh, I'm, I'm during this next break, I'm gonna go. What is it? What's the what's the website? I'm sorry. You uh, go in the hardware store with no panties, and she does a twirl there in a little yeah, short was, skirt. You know that? I like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that a scene in a movie or something? Yeah. Oh, I it wish. Will be. Yeah, yeah, I wish. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. So, um, when the guy, so this guy is caught cranking it in the back of a cranking Uber. It. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did he tip? I mean, obviously the one tip <laughs> that he saw wasn't what he was looking There's for. There's your tip, pal. <laughs> okay. I don't What's, think I could do that in front of another fellow. No, no I don't. Way. I, boy. Thank you. Once oh. again, alcohol was involved. Or in the front of another uh, lady. Well, have unless, you have you ever done that drunk? No, isn't I don't it think almost I have. impossible? Yeah, <laughs> isn't that why they call it whiskey? <laughs> You're right, right, right. <laughs> oh, I'm so drunk, I just got. Uh, I, I, uh, I hit it on the banister one time. It's nothing <laughs> happened. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. All right. Well, coming up, <laughs> we have we have more trouble in Florida. Uh, we've got we've got Snoop Dogg in the news. We have um, a boat that was lost. Uh, everybody's okay. It turns out. Don't don't fret. And. Um, uh, how many species do you think are in your backyard? Oh, the interesting question. We're going we're, 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 we're to find out. Uh, species of what? Uh, Mammal watching? A little bit of science coming up. Okay. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're...
Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. I will I will sing in my stand up act if I'm talking about a particular band thing like right now I have you know I, I kind of talk about the fact that uh, you know grunt uh, STP is getting back together you know Scott Weil yeah, sure. so I kind of do a, a mild dancing impersonation of him to prove that you know you could you have to be on heroin to dance like that and and mm -hmm. uh, and the fact that he's actually our generation's Keith Richards if you've noticed yeah, he nothing will kill him he's getting yeah. he'd been kicked out of two bands because they thought he was going to die and then yeah. he didn't die he didn't die still alive I hear him I hear him and they're like dang hey, whatever let's record another <laughs> album who cares um i like their music so. yeah absolutely and i think we can all agree that uh, that grunge is the one good thing that aids gave us mm. i think you can pretty much argue <laughs> that and, and, you know mm -hmm. really, nothing explains the biggest left turn in the history of music like aids <laughs> because it literally was like one week we were like don't want nothing but a good time aids i seem to recognize <laughs> 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 Some sugar on me, AIDS. Me. <laughs> you tell a generation of 13 year olds that sex equals death, you're going to have them going, I deny you. <laughs> One scoop. Big scoop. That's a huge scoop. Two. That's not, a, that's not a big scoops. blender. Okay. Three. Three. Hey, don't, Three. No, no, you, you're not you're gonna, gonna run out of space. room. No, it's you're not. not. No, yeah, no, you're. Not that's perfect. Uh -huh. There's milk right there. Milk and pour about. Uh, you're gonna put a little whey protein in there. A little there? more than that. A little more than that. Oh, yeah, come on. There we go. Hey, a little more. All right, okay. that's good. Now load it with Oreos. Yeah. yeah. All right. We have so we have vanilla ice cream <laughs> in the blender, not in your mouth. Don't eat the Oreos yet. All right. How many got there? I don't think I've had an Oreo in uh, years. That one and another stack that Is that an even number? Oh, for Did goodness you count them? Sake. How many got there? It's bad luck mm, to even a number of Oreos. Yeah. It's bad luck, Chick. Did you All count All right, them? that's enough. No, it isn't. Keep going. Shut your hole. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> this is our shake. You're not going to be able to drink it. You're yeah. going to have to eat it with a spoon. That's fine. But we're <laughs> what is that, 15 Oreos? Oh, this is uh, going to be perfect. It'll go right up to the top. <laughs> Peanutopolis. That's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. All right. Put a Klondike bar in there. Come on. Throw in go. the Klondike what would you bar. Throw in the Klondike bar. Mm -hmm. I'd kill some <laughs> <laughs> Throw yeah. a little more milk in, Klondike Chick. Klondike bar's in there. Blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. There, there we go. There you go. That's, right. okay, That's good. Go. Just okay. let it go. Oh Keep God. going. Look at that. Look at that. That's heaven. Look, Look at, at that. Snickers bar. Look at that. Snickers bar <laughs> looks like it's swirling around yeah. the bottom of a toilet bowl, doesn't it? You're putting more ice cream in there? Yes. There you go. Now blend her up there. Oh, one more. Come on. <laughs> At least it's an even number. Okay, right, there no. we're going. <laughs> Are those the peanuts trying to... Uh, Thank you. No, Bob, sip that over there by your microphone. Let's hear, uh, hear your I'll, I'll judgment I'll have a taste. <laughs> Tom has to drink it. We though. should market this. Mm. Wow, it smells very good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That is very good. Mm. Tell me this is not good. That is very good. Very chocolatey. See? This is much better than your shit. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Why don't you throw some protein powder in that? So at least you get some protein. And why don't you run up an in alley and shake. yell fish? <laughs> <laughs> Our next eligible guy. Say hello to... Hold it.
Are you really going to say each time, say hello to your dick ding dong or whatever? <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> oh, okay. Here he is, Jerry Peterson. Hello, Linda. I can't tell you how happy I am to finally meet you. And... Right, right. Uh, what do you do, Jerry? Uh, well, I own my own consulting business and... Ah, uh... consulting, eh? <laughs> and when did you lose your Amway dealership, Jerry? Huh? Sheesh. <laughs> what a bitch. She's the bitchlerette. <laughs> She's single, pissed off, and is looking for money. <gasps> Lots of money. Hi, I'm Linda. I'm Phil. Yeah. Did you forget something? No, I don't think so. Any Gift? Gift? I didn't know that we were... Mm, Bye-bye. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> wow. Tune in to Bob and Tom TV and see why she's called the Bitchlerette. She's on the prowl and she's got... Shut your <laughs> hole and bring on the rich num nuts. Uh, on Bob and Tom TV. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a show I'd watch. Yeah. yeah. This is Reno Collier and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Let's talk to our guest, Tom Foss. Tom, tell us about your life. You uh, married, single, what's going on? Married, very happily married. I got a friend going through a midlife crisis. You know anyone like that? Oh, yeah. And he's asking me what he should do. Oh, yeah. And I keep telling him cheating is like growing pot. <laughs> <laughs> like growing pot? You can do it and get away with it, but you can't ever, ever tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Ever. <laughs> ever. Anybody. Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Details coming up. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Um, Life with Tom uh, episode. <laughs> I've lost track. It was happening during the commercials. And there's, there's nothing we can... Um... Can't really discuss it on the No. Air. You, well... He saw a tall woman. You saw a very tall lady at a park, right? Yeah, very attractive. And uh, your first reaction was, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and I was concerned she heard you say, whoa. <laughs> so you're you're convinced she did not hear you say that. I know, I didn't, I didn't say it out loud. Uh, and you said she was 6'6"? Six, six? Uh, could be, I know, it was great. Uh, we have uh, Christy Lee, who's the... Uh, opposite of that. Yeah, I'm not 6'6", six, six, that's for sure. Yeah. You fall in that area where you're not, not short enough to get some kind of benefit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm three inches away from using a booster seat, I think, in Michigan. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Do they have a parking area for short people now? No. Okay. They have a parking area for everyone else. Hate that. Yeah. God, stop yeah. it already. And Jesus. you get so excited because you think there's a spot, and then you're like, oh, Why man. do you hate that? Because Those folks <laughs> require those. You always park the farthest away and walk. You've said that. So I, what does it matter to you that they have did, these I, I mean, parking spaces up front? It's just, it, it makes sense to have, uh, obviously, Handicap. wheelchair, yes. of course. All right, okay. Where are you gonna, mother. Where are you going to cut it off? Mobile up? orders. Okay, you got wheelchairs. That, oh, that's the question. You got uh, expectant mothers. Parents with toddlers. Parents with toddlers is another one. Oh, I've Not never expected. seen that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, a, uh, that's good. Yeah. People with seasonal affected disorder. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 They're changing the name of that. To He's what? Sad. sad. To jump. That's oh, very oh, insensitive. Oh, that helps. That is insensitive. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's, if that's going to uh, help any. No, but Christy was going to say, the problem is if you're at you're a new place, oh, there's a space up there, you pull up, oh, God. Uh, I can't go there. Or they uh, have those little basket, those little corrals for the carts uh, that are just far enough in <laughs> that you can't see them. But, <laughs> Talking to you, Meyer, thanks. <laughs> why are you going out? What do you mean? Why, why? Yeah, I have to go to the grocery argument. store. No, no, mm -mm. no, you don't. <laughs> You no. don't even go to the grocery store? I don't, don't go anywhere. To. I don't absolutely have to. You don't to. like to touch your produce? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take this one. I don't know what you're calling touch your produce. I, ideally, I'd like to have someone else touch my produce. <laughs> See, Jim, you're, you're one of the people who are responsible oh, oh, for Oh, advice those. from Ace. Here we go. Yes, You're Ace. responsible for those people, employees, pick, self, picking it up. Well put, Ace. You. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no one tells a story like Boy, this. I think, what you, uh, I'm sorry, I'm you, you feel like those folks get in your way? The online shoppers. 
Always in the way. The, the eh. employees that are there right. doing the online shopper cart. They're, a, they're just as in the way. Who are know. making a living. So yes, why should they, they get are. those? Why do they get the 10 spaces, you know, where I'm talking about in front of that one store yeah. for people picking up their groceries? They're too lazy to pick up their groceries, then they get to pull right up there? No. Yep. That's right. <laughs> they're, are, they're a little off to the side, aren't they? They're, no, not, they're, right, they're, right the door. they're not the prime spots. You guys should be glad I don't go out very often because oh, if I, I did, I'd <laughs> flash your park and then I'd be in your way. So don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Well, let's uh, let's move forward here. Uh, I promised uh, that I was in the mood for a little something, something to cheer me up, and I think we got it going right here. Yeah. Talk about mistake. <laughs> hey, chick. <laughs> the balls on this one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Attaboy, Ace. You show them who's boss. Yes, Ace. What animal takes up the most space? What animal takes up the most space? I don't know. What animal? A groundhog. Mm. That was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. I'm going to do that one Friday, but... Uh, joke of the day. Sponsored. You didn't want to ruin our weekend? <laughs> Buy sleep number. Save 50% during the President's Day sale on a limited edition smart bed only at a sleep number store or at sleepnumber.com. Well, thank you very much, sleep number. Thank you very much, Ace Cosby. We now turn to... That lady over there in the pink sweater, it's Christy Lee at the news desk. What's happening? An Easter poster in the Spanish city of Seville is the oh. subject of controversy. Where the barbers are trained. <laughs> Due to the depiction right. of Jesus, or Jesus, if you're in Seville, maybe. I am Jesus from Seville. The poster by that was Renato. A very, <laughs> <laughs> that, that opera didn't take off, did it? Yeah, yeah but isn't that, this the, is the, <laughs> isn't that the one line that virtually anyone can sing? I'm the barber of Seville, Figaro, Figaro. <laughs> I don't even know if those are the actual. If Jesus they, if Christ. Is that, for like, is that from the Three Stooges? Where did that come that uh, everyone knows? Looney Tunes, I think. Oh, is yeah. that what it's from? Yeah, okay. Elmer Fudd famously did. Oh, okay. Remember, um, uh, Bugs uh, does Elmer's head, right? And puts... Uh, 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 flower grow on his bald head, <laughs> and flowers pop up. I love, it, I love it when Bugs' ears get uh, turned into a dew of some sort. <laughs> oh, sure. So sweet. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I, I googled this thing. It's a. It's one. It's a very Eastern or no, the, sorry, Western European the depiction of Jesus, kind of like surfer Jesus. The poster of Rena uh, by renowned Seville artist Salustano Garcia Cruz shows a young, handsome Jesus Have you seen the wearing Garcia? a barely there loincloth. Well, it's, it's handsome if you're if, with a particular set of values. It looks like Jesus is a member of what's it called? Uh, Thunder from Down Under. Is that muscular? Is that well? muscular? I got to look at that. Barely there along a loincloth and bearing minimal wounds after it was unveiled, many called the poster disgraceful, inappropriate, too pretty, and out of line with Seville's Easter tradition. Garcia defended the work and dismissed the poster's critics as old-fashioned. The General Council of Brotherhoods, which commissioned the piece, has so far ignored calls to replace the poster. Garcia responded to criticism from conservative groups that the depiction of Jesus was effeminate or homoerotic. Hmm. hmm. I mean, they've been... I gotta look at this. ...making images of Jesus to their own liking for quite some time. I don't know what he's got on his head. That's what I'm concerned. Is, is, I don't know if it's a hat or if it's a... It's ear, he's got earbuds in. Earbuds? <laughs> yeah. Of, yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. It's Whoa. very modern looking. It is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks it's like that... a guy straight out of a, uh, a shampoo show. ad or something. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. Head and shoulders. <laughs> Isn't it time you used head and shoulders? Uh, you know, it, it looks like a parody of a Jesus picture to me. Yeah. yeah, it looks like Holy something that smoly. Onion would do. <laughs> yes. Jesus now hot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know that it's intentionally, uh, I don't think this guy had ill intent. Uh, uh, this do you think article the three says, things says the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Maybe it's the Trinity that's on his head? This, oh, guy, maybe, this yeah. guy says it's his son. What? Oh, it's based off his off of son, the son was the model. According, oh. to, according, this is a different article. It, it looks like uh, Jarts is what it looks like. Jarts, yeah. the lawn dart. Yeah, game? kind of. Oh, mm -hmm. it up. says uh, he used his son Horacio as the model for the poster. Looks like Jared Leto. 
Yeah, that's exactly it right. Yeah, it's it's it that, that, that like definite Leto. look. It's so it sure does. Whatever I think of Jared Leto, I think of Mike Birbiglia's story where he was at that event and he was sitting in, by Jared Leto and Jared looked at him and said, "I haven't eaten in 17 days." Oh God! He was starving himself for something. <laughs> Jared, please eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dollars, wasn't that the Dallas Buyers Club? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, what's coming what are up, you Christine? Lee? A guy that says, "I haven't eaten." <laughs> Please have a seat. Oh my God! In that case, uh, can I have your fillet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, I think this, we, this is going to be a boring award ceremony. We come back. We go around the room. What would you eat after 17 days of no food? Okay. All right. All right. Start thinking about it, All Tom. Right. Even oh. you, you weirdo. I know what. I've, I've already got an answer. Uh, I know what you're going to uh, say. Sprouts and a uh. uh, kale sandwich <laughs> with uh, <laughs> mugu guy jelly. <laughs> and, uh, what is, what's he talking about, Pat? I would. I have no idea. Kale sandwich. <laughs> Oh, a kale sandwich. I do know what he's saying. Mc McHale sandwich. I can eat the bread. When we come back, uh, we also have uh, Snoop Dogg in the news. I think we're going to get uh, Jess Hooker in here talking about something in the realm of food. We got a weird rescue involving a sauna that's actually kind of cool and um, a, a world record from outer space. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 24-7. Get all the info in the VIP area at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Now, Donnie, I, I, I know that you're wearing a, a Christmassy kind of uh, shirt, but this isn't a Christmas song next, is it? No, this ain't a Christmas tape. This, um, and, and I want one of them camel toe shirts for Angel Skinners. Okay. Because it is a holiday. I'll be seeing her, not by choice, but I will be seeing her. I ain't seen her since her last intervention. I caught her cheating on me again. <laughs> <Really>? Oh, no. <laughs> the first time, it's because, you know, this time of year, everybody does little sweet whispers, and I was nibbling on her neck and noticed her earlobe smell like her bare feet. Well, oh. we never oh. did missionary so I bust her fair and square but then two weeks ago we get back together and I thought it was going to be another chance and I f caught her and this time I have hard evidence because mm -hmm. I found tonsil stones <laughs> oh, really? in her panties oh <laughs> boy not just three or four chick I'm oh, talking right. enough to make a decent trail mix oh with. yeah oh, oh geez so I was like it's been going down on you John Coffey from the movie Green Mile <laughs> <Swear to God. laughs> <laughs> Remember when he had him pop rocks? Yes. Oh, yeah. Nice I remember, Donnie. <laughs> uh, well, Donnie, so that explains exactly what this song is about. That's what this tape's about. The first time I met her when the love was love tender and purely platonic from Donnie Baker and the Pork <laughs> Pistols. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> is he going to cry? <laughs> They couldn't afford air conditioning. <laughs> so she never had company. Her own man worked for organs. So at least she was bug free. <laughs> at the start, sort of changed later. Oh. I miss her. I miss her. How even her air fresheners in the car smell like white rain. I swear to God. <laughs> her dad went to work that night now. I'll never forget it. And my pants got real tight. Looked like my Zubas were building a beast. <laughs> she gave a sign for the bedroom. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Slow down. Let it simmer, Dusty. Just a whore named Angel. <laughs> yeah! <laughs>
on the show. Why do we have to keep our mouths shut? Is it illegal well, to bring a dog to work? I don't think so. I'll bring, I, I can bring one in tomorrow. Tom only claims it's uh, an insurance problem if it's a dog he doesn't like. Ah, uh, <laughs> gotcha. Tom has two go-tos. Uh, hey, Tom, you want to fill in the blank? Mm -hmm. uh, I can't. Lawyer. Uh, my lawyer, lawyer. says. <laughs> or uh, I can't. Doctor. My doctor says. Uh, yeah. What all, about cats? All true. You know, I was talking to my... Uh, no like, cats. Yeah, I don't know. No cats. I don't think they want our cats in here. But... And see. No, because a cat would jump on the board, and I'd be saying something interesting. And I'd... <laughs> yes, see, you do that. that you're, you're not kidding. Yeah. Gravy would be all over yeah. this. Oh, oh, Ace! Ace, Ace oh. you do that anyway. <laughs> Cosby from downtown! <laughs> He needs no help, does I, he? I, I, I can screw up my own machinery over here by myself. I Tom, don't you use lawyers and uh, doctors as excuses every now and again. I was talking to my neighbors across the street mm -hmm. who uh, just adore me. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> Is that right? They, <laughs> All right. They have a baby. And I, I said, I bet the baby is the perfect excuse for it. And she, she was like, it's unbelievable. Oh. We, we get out of everything because... <laughs> Oh, I got I better go the baby. Well, you yeah. can do that. You can do that because of dogs. Yeah. Ah, boy, this is not really going well at all. I need to go home and feed my dog. Yeah. Well, that's dogs have to go out. Yeah. And nobody will, nobody's going to argue with you no. about a dog or a baby. No, sir. Is that why you leave at 9:56 every day? That's exactly right. <laughs> no, I'm right. out of here like a vapor trail. <laughs> it is actually. Your dog I can I hold it another five minutes. I exactly. I don't think so. Oh, I no. don't think so. No, no, he doesn't want me here. <laughs> Especially on Wednesdays. You know, I kind of, I started to come in a little early because I, I like, I do things that I, uh, believe it or not, it involves preparation. Yes. And what I've done is. <laughs> Biggest I've, lap he's gotten all day. I've come in, I come in and I sit down right here yeah. and he's over there. Right. And, uh, Tom, you feel free to. Free to correct me if I'm wrong. He listens to John Barry instrumental music from the movie Body Heat. I know. I, usually it's a different movie, but I listen to instrumental music. So well, I do too on the way into work. Are you kidding? Every, I get it. Every morning. Yes. There he is. Listening to me. It's so then I feel like if I come in and go, hey, how's everybody doing? Mm -hmm. I, he, I'm bothering him. So I, I sit over here and... And uh, I try to be quiet. And then he'll say something like, well, uh, I don't know what's up Chick's ass, <laughs> but he seems like he's in an awful mood. When really you were just giving him his space? I'm and... giving him his space while yeah. he's sitting over there. Uh, I wish I was. William Hurt. William Hurt. Ned, Ned Racine. I uh, think it hurt. Ankle, <laughs> ankle, ankle, ankle deep and Maddie Walker. <laughs> Ankle deep? What he well, said. You're starting with, with that end, huh? I guess. I still say they should make it now because William Hurt's dead. And it's sadly, a great movie. Sadly, yeah. Um, Pat, sure. what do you listen to on your way in? Uh, I, I'm listening to XM series right now on the way in. Like, I mean, John, but, Ma John Mayer's channel called Life. Oh, that's a oh. good one. Yeah. That is a good wow. one. Wow. Way to go, John. Good, good choice. I just call it Life. Just call it well, Life. At, <laughs> at night, it's like a lot of instrumentals, too, jazzy stuff. Ace, he slows what, it down. How about you to get you ready for the show? You listen to what on the way? Sports. Oh, sports talk. Oh, you. Um, but you get it immediately at six a.m. from Chick. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This way he can correct Chick. <laughs> yeah, he um, feels good correcting. What do you listen to miss, on the way in? Something. Something heavy and hard. This morning it really? was uh, Pantera. This love. Oh my God. This yeah. love. This love. <laughs> Kinda. It hurts my ears. This long. <laughs> That's you're actually pretty close. It's awful. <laughs> she wanna, she left me because of this music. You want a oh, gag? I'm I listen gonna, to the spa channel. Oh, it's nice. nice. Oh, it's I'm nice. gonna hit you hard with some Pantera. <laughs> yeah, isn't this cool? <laughs> this is Pan. I kind of like this yeah, so this far. This is kind of nice. It it does kick in. <laughs> <laughs> You like this sort of a uh, heavy James rock Bond and roll, almost. don't you? I enjoy Pantera. He enjoys mm -hmm. Pantera. Is this a uh, Christian rock? <laughs> it is not. Yeah. No, that's uh, the Striper. Striper, yeah. Striper okay. guys. Oh, the Striper's amazing. <laughs> amazing. All right. Oh, that's nice to know. Uh, no, uh, you promised when we got back you would. Uh, <laughs> you had a question, if you recall. Uh, what, why what were we it? talking about not... Oh, Jared Leto told Mike Birbigli one time, just oh, out of the yeah. clear blue sky. Mike goes, uh, hi, uh, I'm Mike Birbigli. And Jared goes, I haven't eaten for 17 days. <laughs> Boy, I believe it. For too. some reason. <laughs> probably getting ready for a movie, obviously. So my question was, if you hadn't eaten for 17 days, 
Tom, what would you want to eat? Um, um, now, from a health standpoint, you probably no, have to ease no. in with some soup or something. Yeah, he's, he's exactly no. right, but we're going to skip that. We're okay. skipping yeah. it. I, I think I would get, uh, sp I'd go with spaghetti. I knew it. Mm. Spaghetti, kind of an it. Italian thing. I think I'd go that way, too. I think I'd go uh, pizza or spaghetti. Not pizza. It's no. not too heavy. Too spaghetti, heavy. Yeah, spaghetti. Be All right. Oh. But no, you're allowed to choose whatever you want. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go, yeah, spaghetti or lasagna or something. Just lasagna is okay. And yeah. see how fast I can vomit. Oh. Okay, Josh, what's your... Uh... Oh, man. Um, uh, it, it comes down between... Uh, Don't say it. I'm, if you say it, I'm going to come up and hit, I'm going to stand up, rock over there and hit you right in the head. Say hey, what? The problem is I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I know, right? So there's a good chance we're going to get hit in the head. Okay. <laughs> a stack of pancakes mm. or a rainbow roll. These oh, are, yeah, those are good. Uh, those are good. Or a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you like what you like. Hey, there peanut you butter and jelly. Those are the three things I've been obsessed with in the last few months. Huh. And there is a picture of you uh, pouring syrup on pancakes taken by Greg Warren. That's he's amazing. never been happier with anything. <laughs> <he's ever done. laughs> good, hey, Ace Cosby, how many pizza rolls could you eat after 17 days? You know, it's weird. Over the break, I, I went like three days without eating. Without what? eating at all? Yeah. So yeah, a, night, a good fast. Well, that's vodka for you. after you vodka, vodka. <laughs> oh, I, I just didn't. Jess, I don't know if you caught this uh, a couple of days ago, but uh, Ace said we were talking about alcoholic drinks. Uh, yeah. And uh, I said, Ace, what do you like with your vodka? And he said, vodka. So uh, I think that's your joke. Yeah, I, 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 I like vodka with vodka as well. I would have pizza or Chinese food. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah, good yes, call. Good yes. call. Now, th this all started when we said if you had $1,000 in cash and had to spend it before noon, mm -hmm. what, what would you do? <laughs> oh, okay. And Ace said he'd go buy $1,000 worth of vodka. <laughs> oh. Which was, uh, which was I, quite surprising. I said I would hit the liquor store. Yeah, that's what oh, okay. he said. Trying, he, trying he to be said, funny. Uh, so now uh, you know what? Yeah. In, in no. February of 2020, and they said everything's going to start shutting down. Yeah. And my first thought was... <laughs> I need to get to the liquor store. <laughs> I need to go buy vodka. And I thought, should that be my first thought? <laughs> so we uh, we throttled back. What about you, uh, the ladies? Christy, what about you and food? Um, you guys are going to be days. 17 days. I think I would go with a steak, baked potato, and a salad. Classic. Mm. Wonderful. Yeah. 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 Excellent choice. Yeah, nice. medium rare. Oh. oh, I'll send you a nice... Yes. I know Oz got some good steaks. Oh, you know. yeah. uh, I would either go, oh, I'd go lox or I'd go fried chicken. Those oh, are, yeah, those lox. are two of my favorite meals. Yeah. What is this? Are you, like, Smoked like, salmon? Like, yeah, oh, like lox, okay. like an everything bagel and lox and cream cheese. Lovely. And capers lox, and all this stuff. Is lox spelled with an X? Yes. It is. Yes. Yeah. What's yeah. the plural? Yes. Locks? Uh, like, like foxes? <laughs> is it loxes? Or L -O -X -E -S. Yeah. Locks, does locks mean more than one? Yeah. I, Hmm. I think it does. What, what if that ends up what? in a wordle? Loxes. Now, what Pat, would you break your veganism to enjoy a meal after 17 days? Well, or would no. You... I, uh, no, but if I could, it'd be like king crab or something. Ooh, oh, okay. I thought, you'd, uh, I thought you'd have some of that sweet sweep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you think you, you see yourself ever going pescatarian and going ahead and going ahead and reincorporating fish and stuff? Into Maybe your... down the road a little All bit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't All you right once now. go... Um, a Pescatellian and have a little Ooh. flirt with Tammy Pescatellian. <laughs> Never even met the poor woman. <laughs> oh, it must have been somebody else. <laughs> it, no, <yeah. laughs> oh, Josh. Okay. Josh made the uh, famous statement. Uh, this was his quote. I do horrible things. <laughs> to, be with, <laughs> to be with Tammy uh, Pescatelli. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's time to uh, tease what's coming up in the news. Well, we have Snoop Dogg in the news. We have a uh, Circle K clerk that was battered with... A chocolate egg. Mm, that's that's what he gets. Oh. Oh. He got Cadburyed? <laughs> Man, I don't know how you eat the cream now that caramel's out there. I don't need that. I'm with eggs. you on this. I still prefer that cream. No, you're, you're I'm wrong. with Josh on this. Yeah, yeah the cream. <laughs> no, huh? yeah. No. It's caramel. The cream it's caramel. It's caramel. My caramel favorite the chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Is there anything funnier didn't though than the, that. than the uh, the bunny <laughs> clucking like a chicken for Cadbury? Eggs? Classic ad. Oh, I'm, I'm going to come back with a Charmin commercial. Okay, so they're up to they're up to something at Charmin. We'll, we'll come back. Plus, we got a naked guy in the news. Um, and Chick's got his record. I do oh, have my. We do have a world record coming. Record, in. and I better do it, or <laughs> Christy's gonna be mad. We wouldn't want that. We have a Dairy Queen news coming up. Yum. Uh, but uh, right now, I want you to uh, get cozy, get, start enjoying life in 2024, and get rid of the winter blahs in the world of your food world. 
getting a little sick of what you're eating all the time, the same old stuff over and over. Do we want to go there for dinner? Nah, I'm sick of that place. I'm sick of my cooking. I'm sick of your cooking. I'm sick of your face. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Hello Fresh wants to brighten up your life. Dozens of chef-curated recipes each week to choose from. How does it work? They go do the shopping. They send you the box with the ingredients. It's all measured out. You put them together sometimes in just a few minutes, pop them in the oven, and um, they've given us a whole bunch of meals to try. Christy, what's the latest? Well, I was talking about steak. How about hearty steak and potatoes with balsamic cranberry pan sauce? Boy, this looks delicious. Six easy steps and a wonderful meal on the table that quickly thanks to HelloFresh. And free breakfast for life if you join up right now because uh, while you keep that subscription active, HelloFresh would like to uh, hand you a breakfast in every box. Here's how you find out about it. You go to HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. That's HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. And to see what I'm talking about, once again, every food lifestyle, if you will, is available on HelloFresh. You could be uh, like Pat and uh, not like the meat, et cetera, et cetera, or you could uh, want good old-fashioned comfort food. They've got low-calorie options, low-carb options. It's all there. Freshen up your life. Have some fun. Switch it around a little bit. And by the way, a lot less food waste, so you're going to be saving money also because uh, they're doing the shopping for you in bulk. Fresh ingredients is the key. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. That's HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Add a little excitement to your food life. Also coming up, that pigeon's a Chinese spy. What? This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, you're listening. I can't help but notice, sir, you're wearing extremely tight, um, uh, what are those called? They are called Lycra Spandex Pursuit Pants. Uh, now, is, pursuit? That a, is that a potato in the front there? or uh, <laughs> Tom. Glad to see you. Tom. Tom. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it? <laughs> Looks like Jim and the twins are pretty cozy this morning, sir. <laughs> Hurts to advertise. Yeah, right? I guess it does. Oh my God! Okay. Thank you very much, sir. He's smuggling <laughs> topsoil for an offshore development project. Well, yeah, I, I always end well, a White Castle. Really? Yeah, I was. Uh, God, I was so drunk, I thought I was in McDonald's. I ordered a quarter pounder. I got 500 hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say to you? Help me. Hey, thank you. Pick a number between 1 and 50. We'll ask our guest, then I'll just hit a random sound effect. We'll see if it fits the commercial. All right. 150, Clinton. Pick a number. 35. 35. That's Andy Moore Ford. Uh, 35. Here we go. Heavenly deals. At Andy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You'll think you've died and gone to pick car another. Heaven. Pick another number. And Andy Moore for uh, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Andy Moore for <laughs> electrifying deals. <laughs> and Andy Moore for. <laughs> okay, pick another number. Go ahead, Clinton. <laughs> Any number. Eight. Eight. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, dear. They have body <laughs> shop. <laughs> they have a body shop. Any okay. other number? Go ahead. Pick one more. 19. That's, ah! That's our manager <laughs> screaming at the fabulous deals you'll find. Where is that? At Andy Moore Ford. Okay. This is the Bob and Tom it's show. On, this morning. Man, I wish I'd lived here today's show. Me too. <laughs> um, um, I wish I was here. Yeah. You know, there's a reason I'd never heard of this band. Why? Because this guy had to have his penis cut off. <laughs> publicity. <laughs> you know, I prefer I prefer musicians who can actually make it on their skill, not on their lack of a dick. <laughs> so. Yikes. I knew you did. I know how to make it in show That's business. That's what I said. <laughs> Yikes. I know how to make it in show business. First we whip it out, and then we take a cleaver. Mm -hmm. How does he pee? Yeah. Sitting down. <laughs> or all yeah. over the place. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the video. No, the that's not true, Clint. How does he pee? Depends. <laughs> okay, oh, never mind. Oh. Sorry I asked. Hard copy all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> this exclusive. Dogs die in the cargo hold? Occasionally. Occasionally. And then they just replace them with a dog that looks similar. They got a big <laughs> they got a big dog farm for these things. Now, all the airlines share the same dog Yeah, uh, Dave, uh, Dave, we need a shih tzu. Uh, <laughs> Uh, brown face, white feet. Uh, yeah, we need a sh Shih Tzu uh, Gate C27. Uh, it's a number yeah, eight. Yeah. Bring us that and, number uh, eight. Another, another new fee uh, coming in uh, coming in on United. Try
try to take care of that. Yeah, he's stiffer in a board. Come on in. Okay. <laughs> the big danger at this time of year is the heat. If you, you know, they were down there, and if the plane is delayed on the, you know, tarmac for any reason, it can be a problem. Mm-hmm. So, mm. That was just a story this week that came out. Do the People right thing. Drive your dog. Warning Jeez. folks that are flying their dogs about that. There you go. I ain't making this up. And if it's a small dog, like a little tiny little hand dog. Yeah, you can put it underneath your seat. No, just throw it out the window because those aren't real dogs. <laughs> <laughs> those aren't real dogs. This is cool. You know, I like doing radio. How can you change a dinosaur's <laughs> name? I don't know. Yeah, halfway through. You know halfway the, through. Do <laughs> you know what the smallest dinosaur was? Uh, what? The clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> a little red, <laughs> pinkish dinosaur. Well, congratulations. Wow. You, you finally got it, got it on the air. Yeah. It, congratulations. Way to go. <laughs> See, all that, all that filthy lunch talk, and now it's on the air. Are you happy now? <laughs> little tiny. Are you a big man saying uh, clitoris? <laughs> Is that it? See, I always thought the, I thought the smallest one was the lick a lot of puss. But apparently. <laughs> Posed naked in Playboy magazine. Mm. A move which critics said severely tarnished her image and marketability. Men throughout the world were outraged. <laughs> if Katarina were going to pose nude, why had she not done it in 1988 when we were all fascinated by what she must look like with her clothing? Yeah. To wait 10 years after her physical prime, when we had all clearly moved on to Nancy Kerrigan, <laughs> was a slap in the face to male fans everywhere and goes against the very spirit of the Olympic Games. Yes. Hello, Michelle Kwan, are you listening? Uh, <laughs> this has been another Bob and Tom Olympic uh, moment uh, in uh, history. Hello. Essential morning radio all day and all night. Some like fun, some like Schmitz, but for me it's Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Joining us in the studio, comedian Mark Eubanks. Did you go to college down in... Uh... I went to college in uh, University of West Virginia, Morgantown, West Virginia. Oh, really? I was a mountaineer. Hmm. Well, why would someone from Florida go to college in West Virginia? Uh, because you didn't have to be real smart to get into school there. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, showing up got you that piece of paper. Yeah. Oh. Valedictorian was a 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> On the breathalyzer. <laughs> You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. You might as well shoot me when the beer runs out. Bob and... Hey, welcome back to... The Bob and Tom Show. Hello, Tom. Chick. We all use uh, toilet paper, right? Yeah. I hope so. Sure. What are else we, would you use? Uh, well, are you are you? For, there's some, there are some there, people that do rags. There are I some guess, cultures where them. they don't. Some people use rags. Don't they yeah. use their hand in some cultures? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, I don't know. I don't know if that still happens or not. But yes. Don't they, accept uh, anything left-handed from somebody. <laughs> oh, and man. there was always opposite. Like that. There was a yeah. Mm-hmm. If you stole with one hand. <laughs> the, the hand that was cut off was exactly so you had to wipe and eat with the same hand. Oh yeah. gosh! Yeah, so that's not us, lines. though. That's not. That us. isn't. No, we didn't do that. Hey, we're, see, we're not as bad as you thought. <laughs> yeah, we're doing okay. Well, you're. Mr. When Bidet. I'm making you eat with your wiping hand, what's that, Ace? You're Mr. Bidet. I am, but I still require toilet paper as well. Yeah, you got to you got to tidy up. So yeah. Charmin, is, yeah. are you brand loyal? You're Lo- Charmin. Love a Charmin. You're Charmin. No, you, no, you like. Uh, I'm, I, I like Costco Brown. Costco, brand. Costco yeah. Brown. Costco Brown. Brown. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, well, Costco Brown. makes it kind of hard to delineate which. Yeah, yeah, you don't that must know be the recycled. <laughs> what about you, Josh? You uh, brand loyal? I believe I am uh, mostly Cottonelle. Cottonelle. Oh, yes. Oh, is that the little uh, teddy bear that he, he, he giggles? Or oh, maybe. Yeah. I, Ace, I know you're that's Snuggles. Is that Snuggles? Yeah. I'm sorry. Do you have uh, brand loyal toilet paper? I am Charmin. You are sure, but you probably... Was white, cl- white, white cloud for years. You peel it apart and use uh, each... Uh, <laughs> I know how you like to no, save. No. I like the Charmin now because it's got little jagged edge. That's well, easy. that sounds painful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, w- w- what are you doing down there? Standing it off? <laughs> hey, Josh, the pain is exquisite. <laughs> Why do you ask? Why are you bringing you know that? Because uh, Charmin has uh, the bear family. Yeah. They're, they're mommy da- mama bear, daddy bear, and two little baby bears. Oh, yeah, like bright red? They're bright red, and... Um, <laughs> 
The first commercial I saw that got my attention was that uh, the father bear just come out of the toilet and sat down at the breakfast table. And he goes, oh, I don't have any itches anymore or whatever. <laughs> and the little baby bear is sitting there at the breakfast table eating cereal. And his cereal is salmon flakes Aww. because they're He's bears. Adorable, naturally. Yes. Now, the one I saw this morning, <laughs> this is Daddy Bear coming out of the bathroom. And Mama Bear and the two baby bears are waiting for Daddy to come out of the bathroom. All right. <laughs> Yeah. And it sounds a little something like this. What's everybody waiting for? This? <laughs> okay, hon. We know you're clean. <laughs> hey, show some what? Butt. He butt? shakes. He shakes his ass in front of him. <laughs> like he goes, "What's everybody waiting for? This?" And he shakes his butt. What's everybody waiting for? This? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hon. We know you're clean. All right. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> what's going That's on at Charmin? Disgusting. Yes. What's weird. going on at Charmin, Tom? Your naked butt, Dad. Wow. And he is, he, I need to tell you, all the bears are naked in this commercial. Naked bear butt? Well, naked what Charmin is doing, this is actually uh, part of nature. Bears, after they defecate, will present their uh, anuses to other bears. <laughs> will they? Oh. That's a, a proven fact. <laughs> Do they now? <laughs> and they will say this. What's everybody waiting for? That's right. This? Okay, they God. sort of twerk. We know you're clean. All right. I yeah. thought, th isn't that the old joke that they use rabbits? Yeah. <laughs> Or hey, sheep, the, or the bear looks at the rabbit and says, "Hey, do you, do you have a problem with oh, sticking your fur, to your fur? Sticking to your fur, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's showing their bear butt. Well, yes, go. yeah, bear yeah. butt. Yeah. I I would comedy. argue that um, the Mister Whipple don't squeeze the Charmin campaign was one of the most effective in history. Probably, that was, that probably was, why I use Charmin. To I think this that was day. a really effective campaign. Yeah. yeah. They you have know, a good there are, product, though. There yeah. are two different Charmins. They're soft, and then there's, there's ultra soft. Har hearty. Is there, there's a hearty brand. Really? Yeah. There's an ultra soft. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Yeah. I'm not saying that the paper that they have in this building is thin, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I carry on a toothbrush just to get underneath oh, my nails. Gosh. After <laughs> my gosh. Don't you think some celebrity endorsements for toilet paper would be pretty effective? Like, if you see a commercial in Callista Flockhart, you're like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, you see, <laughs> you see Oliver uh, Platt. You know I use. Like you know, I'm going with the Platt. Or, uh, <laughs> Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> yeah, 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 right yeah. there. Yeah. She, she knows a good toilet paper. <laughs> now this is a, on that topic. Uh, there's a social media hack out there that was written up in Parade magazine. Headline: People are putting toilet paper in the refrigerator. Really? Why? They say oh, this yeah. is a trick used in the hotel industry. I like the sound of that. It's nice and cool. Um, yeah, hemorrhoids, I guess. I don't know. This says a fresh <laughs> roll of toilet paper does a good job at absorbing moisture and smells much like baking soda. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it's yeah. for the to it's for the refrigerator, yeah. not to be used later. Oh, right. I see. I mean, you can oh. use it later. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, back in the day, I'd go in there and have. You know, a little bit of Hello? meatloaf and Gunther's Go Go gravy. Might as well have the paper right handy. Oh. <laughs> Gunther's Go Go Shield gravy. Shield toilet paper. Everybody. I mean, I know the story's about your fridge, but uh, wouldn't that be something? It'd be, yeah. it'd be something. We yeah. should try it. Hmm. Yeah. Are you going to try it? Put a little refrigerator right. in your bathroom. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Now, why do you have a fridge in your bathroom, Mike? Oh, that's where I keep the toilet there. paper. I have a little dorm fridge. Try it. Right we'll never go back, I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> and that brings us to... Stupid World This record. isn't a stupid world record. This is cool. A Russian cosmonaut <laughs> has set the new record for the most time spent in space. What's wrong with this story? He's a Russian cosmonaut? It's a Russian... Okay. This doesn't count in America. Please take me home. <laughs> I am so sick. I am sick of space. I hate space. My back hurts. Wait Russia. <laughs> <laughs> My back is shredded. <laughs> Russia's space agency, Rosco Roscosmos. Is that right? Yeah. R-O-S Cosmos. You say it right or you dead. <laughs> Ross Cosmos. I was on cover of Ross Cosmopolitan. <laughs> you were? Yes. yes. Oh. Oleg Kononenko has now spent more than 878 days and 12 hours in space. You can't tell me. How many? 878 days, 12 hours. You can't tell me this has changed his entire physiology. Oh, exactly. Exactly. And he can't yeah. walk. He's not going to be able to walk How for many years. trips to the space station? 
Uh, 59-year-old surpasses... Uh, where uh, Russian state news? Day, I fly into space to do what I love, not to set <laughs> records. Yes. I've dreamt of and aspired to become a cosmonaut since I was a child. He's made five journeys to the International Space <laughs> Station. My bones are pudding now. Yeah. Yes. You ever see my wife's picture? You'd go to space too. Yes. Ugh. Keep me up here if she is still living. Shoot me. A real, a real Bowser. Uh, oh, face looked like gorilla's ass. Good it's lord. Real bad. <laughs> hope she's well, waiting well. in line for toilet paper. Is what I hope. Do they still have that waiting in line for stuff over there? We have terrible toilet paper on ISS. I use it to send my new boat. My ass is redder than Gorbachev's head. <laughs> When I say I need some space, I need to go to outer space. <laughs> Did I mention my wife? Ugly. Take my wife, please. please. <laughs> I told her to go somewhere she's never been before. How about the kitchen? Mm. <laughs> my, my wife said she wanted to be seen in something long and flowing. I threw her in river. <laughs> <laughs> that actually leads to a story in the news. A please river so story? I have 15 more minutes of comedy. In in the, <laughs> He's ready to go. The light. <laughs> Police in Washington State say a Cold War-era rocket was discovered in the garage of a deceased resident. Bellevue Police said an Air Force Museum in Dayton, Ohio... The Air Force yeah, Museum. Yeah, right back, probably. <laughs> right back. Reported, reported an offer to donate a military-grade rocket, which a neighbor said had been purchased at an estate sale. Huh. Officers responded to the home where bomb squad members found a Douglas... AIR2 Genie. Who's a state sale? Oliver North? No joke. <laughs> <laughs> An unguided air to air rocket designed to carry a one and a half, uh, some kind of nuclear warhead. Kill it, uh, kill a ton, I kill believe. Kill a ton? Kill a ton. Yeah. Police said there was no warhead attached, thankfully. Yeah, that's badass. And there was no rocket fuel. Essentially meaning the item was an artifact with no explosive hazard. They added because the item was inert and the military did not request it back. Police left the item with the neighbor to be restored for display in a museum. Wow. Why would a guy want that in his garage? It's pretty badass. Hey, you want to see my rocket? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I took the nuclear warhead off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it, a, it's in the dining room. It beats you want to come see my painting. Yeah. <laughs> Man. I'd do that. You would go see a rocket, wouldn't you? I'd be real would nervous. You, if you'd fall for that? I would. <laughs> I'd like to see a rocket, sure. You want to go? You want to come see my rocket? I eh? fell for worse. <laughs> <laughs> or come see my rocket? Oh, yeah. me too. <laughs> yeah, well, now, um, we also have an uh, interesting story in the world of um, of rescues. I, th I find this absolutely fascinating. Guess uh, flow. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Guests aboard a floating sauna in a Norwegian fjord helped rescue two people whose car plunged into the water. The Norwegian VG newspaper... Hello, how you do? <laughs> reported, I hope your day is going well. <laughs> <laughs> ...reported a driver accidentally drove off a dock in Oslo after hitting the accelerator pad when they thought the vehicle was in park. Oh. The car's two occupants escaped the sinking vehicle and were on the roof of the car as a sauna raft headed toward them. First of all, would you get a sauna raft? That sounds like a fun time. Yeah, right? That's not yeah, interesting. It, it kind of like, reminds like me of those... It's a party barge. Yeah, it, exactly. Yeah. But it looks like those like those bicycles that people have. Yeah? The, 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 sure. Except they're in this big floating sauna <laughs> drifting down the river. Skipper hmm. Nikolai Nordahl threw the sauna into full throw and managed to reach them just as the car went under. He said with good help from two of the guests who got them up, warmed them up in the sauna, dressed only in towels, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time for the three-way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah. So they're fine. Did you see the picture? They're fine. I did not. Oh, yeah. It's a truck, pickup truck. It is? What kind? Um, it's a um, it's a Fjord F-150. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite words, fjord. Fjord. Like, fjord. Fun to say, isn't it? Fjord. fjord. You have a hey, song, Pat. Pat, it sounds like... <laughs> I once had a sauna. It's a dry heat. Better than steam. Naked, sitting on a raft. Welcome aboard, Norwegian fjord. <laughs> and out of nowhere, a car flew off of the street. It plunged in the water. Was it a Ford in the fjord so deep? <laughs> I 
threw on a towel, put down my wine, jumped in the brine. <laughs> Saved a frozen couple from drowning, stiff as a board, Norwegian fjord. <laughs> oh, very nice. Uh, but it looks like fun. Yeah. Flown down the river in a sauna. Hmm. I wonder if you if, are you supposed to like jump out of the sauna into the river and then go back? Or? Probably you're supposed to do a cold plunge or shower ah, after a sauna. That's exhilarating. Weren't we talking about last week? Remember those, uh, for lack of a better term, boxes that had a circle cut in the sure. top of them. You those could, are huge now. You could stick what? your head out. What? Oh my they're, gosh! There's saunas that you yeah. could climb yeah. right in. Right? Well, in all the I three in, that, in the Three Stooges the movies. Thing. Yeah. And then the, you'd always it was always the same thing. There'd be a big fat guy in this thing, and then. <laughs> The students would run by, and one of them would take a broom handle, stick it in there. The guy'd get stuck there. You'd see steam coming out of and his ears. Then, and then they'd run by 10 minutes later, and this little skinny guy would come out. <laughs> Very funny. Those are back, huh? Those are back. They're huge right now. Huh. The, the saunas and the steam rooms and oh, all yeah. of that. Yeah, so. But, I mean, is it is it with your head just sticking out? Yeah, if you want to do one at home and not spend thousands of dollars, you can get those for a couple of hundred. But can you get out? Yeah, you, it zips up. It's like a collapsible I see. type oh, situation. Oh, okay. Funny. Yeah. They're yeah, not I'd the be big steel. It'll, you know, shut like a <laughs> no, no, dryer. No, no. Yeah. And then no. you're stuck in there. Well, this one is a uh, thermal wood mini cube sauna that holds two people. Well, there's... That, that, that's a bigger That's a, that's bigger a nice deal. investment. Well, look up there. the fabric one. What's that going to set you back? Uh, five grand. Yeah. Let's get one of those. We is should. Me and you, so we could uh, hang out. In it. And we'll charge everybody else like 50 bucks. <laughs> that's right. Or you go to the gym for just a couple hundred bucks a month, maybe. Yeah, that's what couple I hundred. Do. What gym are you going to? Jeez, oh, I take, yeah, all, no I take joke. all my ladies. I'm sorry, what is this? What is a. Um, a gym? A, yeah, the sauna is at the gym. Gym? <laughs> you want to get in there with a bunch of strangers? That's what happens every day for me. That's yeah. what I do. A nice, hot, steamy uh, sickle jack. <laughs> do you, do you uh, put the earbuds in? You don't talk to anybody? Is it yeah. uh, unisex? It is. Yeah. I don't like that. It's I fun, want it to yeah. go back to being... Do you, have a, do you wear a bathing naked. suit or just have a towel on? No, it's, it's a bathing suit. It's oh. right by the pool, yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. You've been there. You see it? Yeah. But they can reach... Uh, Sports whoever's bra and With you, shorts. you can reach over. And, you know. Oh, yeah. That's foggy You usually there. keep your hands... Oh, do you talk please. to people in there? I don't. Finger diddle, you know. Do, 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 you, wear head, do you wear headphones? <laughs> I wear the earbuds, yeah. Oh, no. A lot I of people talk talking people. in there. You could talk to people, Tom. Hmm? You'd like it if you talk uh, to people. So, uh, are you married? <laughs> uh, Why? No, it's supposed to be a quiet, relaxing place. That's what place. I say, yeah. Yes. Oh. There's yeah. a there's a guy at my gym that sets his phone up on the outside of the sauna mm -hmm. and has his earbuds in because his phone will get too hot and it'll shut off. Oh. And then he keeps, he just stares at it. Oh, you should have someone steal it. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be funny if I sat in there in like a full suit and whenever, whenever anybody looked at me, I just said, I don't have an iron. <laughs> yes. You think I'd get a laugh? I, uh, that's the Sinatra <laughs> method, by the way. <laughs> this is the uh, sauna, yeah. sauna in a box uh, and it's a uh, zip up cloth. It's 350 Look yeah. at that. Yep. That's the thing right there, Tom. Okay, very That's good. What you very need good. to get. All right. Um, uh, so, Pat, I want I want to explore this a little bit more. Uh, you don't talk to anybody in the sauna? I don't. No, I try to last fifteen minutes in there, and that's a good day. It's very. Do you, uh, you scratch at all? No. <laughs> Just scratch. By myself. Why Is it scratch? one of those that has the rocks and the ladle? Yeah, on either mm -hmm. side. Rock, no ladle. You don't do any of that. Oh, okay. Just mm -hmm. the hot rocks. Yeah. Ah, the okay. kind that uh, Steve Lawrence had in Blues Brothers? <laughs> yes. Is right? yes. Is it a dry sauna or a steam? It's a dry it's sauna, dry. and they have the steam, too, yeah. Do you have a sauna hat? I have a sauna a hat. A sauna hat? No. Yeah, it's a felt mm -mm. hat to help keep the heat and get, <laughs> oh, make yeah. you sweat faster. I wear it a hoodie looks ridiculous. Sometimes. Yeah, but it's, it's beneficial. Yeah. And, all right. It's a felt hat. <laughs> <laughs> Can you wear the Do you have it in your car right now? No, I don't have it in my car. It's in my gym bag. Okay. It's at home. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Do you feel uh, dismissed? Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> no, no, I, did. I wanted to see what it looked like. Mm. Um, and uh, we uh, uh, now turn to Josh. Thank you. Getting ready for that Super Bowl party. <laughs> There's only one thing that you need to we make that Super Bowl party memorable. Cheese. Or, uh, cheese? From yeah. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, and we have a new flavor in the break room. We're all very excited. Well, yes. What is it? I brought in some of the buffalo wing cheese, <gasps> so I love them. and it's just terrific, really flavorful, understated. I'm going to try that right now. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, wait a minute. It's, it's all gone. It's really <laughs> it's really great. No, there is. Folks, we talk about uh, things we love on the show a lot, and boy, is this one of them. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese and Sausage Artisan Meats Quality Cheese. Gardner's
Caesars has everything you'll need to serve up amazing snacks at that big game party, including their famous squeaky curds. They're made fresh in the morning and most often delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. Plus, they have a new flavor. Listen to this. Only available for a limited time. Gardner's Buffalo Wing Cheese Curds. Only available through February 6th. What are you waiting for? Get on this before it's too late. This is a must-serve for all your football festivities. Buffalo wing cheese curds, just wonderful. Don't forget to try that oven-baked cheese as well. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, air fry it, microwave it. Be sure to try Gardner's newest flavor of oven-baked cheese, jalapeno. That's right, mm. spicy, ooey-gooey cheese. Man, your guests are going to love it. From super sharp aged cheddars, summer sausages, to their meat sticks that make perfect stir sticks for Bloody Marys. Check out all the flavors and bundled package deals at Gardner's WisconsinCheese.com. Try them out. I think you'll see the difference. You're really going to like what they have. Cheese is always a great idea. And I'm telling you what, Gardner's has changed my life when it comes to cheese. I realized I'd been eating cheese wrong for most <laughs> of my years. Not anymore. Thank you, Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. Right now, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Just great stuff. Perfect for that special party coming up this weekend. Mm, this is very good. Oh, Christy um, is eating it. There we go. Um, when we come back, we have uh, chocolate eggs in flight, a uh, pigeon uh, in prison, and um, uh, Snoop Dogg. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This this is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. More Bob and Tom next. What's the, what's the exact correct name of this? The Pickle Dog. The Pickle, pickle dog. dog. Pickle Dog. Okay, now, well, we are all Pickle Dog virgins, so Bob, why don't you go first, and right. I'll do the play-by-play. -play. Bob, your right hand, you're supposed to put your left hand behind your head <laughs> before you... Oh, no! Pickle Dog down! Okay, now Bob Bob is now chewing the Pickle Dog. He's about to give his analysis and his review. Uh, Bob. It's delicious. It is delicious. It gets a thumbs up from Bob. It's very messy. Are they going to be able to show this on the TV messy. show? I no, it's it's John, eat it. It's very messy. Bob, your thoughts? John, I... Mm. I shot my hot dog <laughs> uh, right mm. out of the uh, right out of the pickle out of the canoe. Well, well some pi some people get a little excited when they have the first pickle dog. Well, you know, I, I did, and I um, I made a I've created a huge <laughs> huge mess over here that actually looks somewhat like a porn shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. It's literally just water. I, uh... Mouth it. Mouth it? <laughs> has, has that been throwing you guys off? Like, I've been told that when I drink out of bottles that I really, like, wrap my whole mouth around them or whatever. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I have no idea what people are talking about.
How we doing, fellas? Think you know your pro football and want to put your knowledge to the test? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at BobandTom.com. This is your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Just pick the winners of this week's pro football games and you could win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Head to BobandTom.com slash contest and play Pigskin Pick'em with the Bob and Tom Show. Essential morning radio all day and all night. Yeah! This is Bob and Tom Radio. The next time you're traveling, don't forget about the historical and beautiful state of Illinois. Catch a Cubs game at Wrigley Field in Chicago. Hit a riverboat casino in Peoria. And make sure you visit the charming community of Effingham, Illinois, where Interstate 70 meets the Little Wabash River. <laughs> and whenever you're in Effingham, visit the Effing House Family Restaurant. Founded in 1854 by the corpulent railroad magnate Colonel Harry S. Effing, the Effing House Family Restaurant is one of America's oldest and finest dining establishments. Start your day with a delicious effing country breakfast featuring an effing omelet with toast, grits, and a big effing beverage of your choice. Or try our BED, the big effing deal. Once again this week, it's effing ham and eggs. For lunch, try the huge effing burger. And fried in a rich butter sauce mixed with big effing egg yolks, we call it the effing heart attack. <laughs> it's an effing experience you'll never forget. And what about dinner? Juicy effing steaks with fresh effing veggies and a creme brulee that's effing out of this effing world. Or go effing nuts with a hot fudge sundae. How would you rate the effing house family restaurant? It was the best effing experience of my life. Rate this place? Well, I wouldn't give it a B. I wouldn't even give it a C, because it's effing A. <laughs> In Effingham, Illinois, it's the Effing House Family Restaurant. You'll have an effing good time. <laughs> Hi, this is Paul. And this is Storm. And we're Paul, Paul and Storm, Storm, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Jimmy Schubert is our guest. But I prefer mobile food myself. I, I mean, I prefer food that's had to make it in the world just like I have. I mean, uh -huh. if I'm going to eat food, I prefer food that doesn't come from the ground. You know, because <laughs> vegetables, you know, they, they suck the nutrients from the mud. Mm -hmm. Would you eat mud? No. No, then why eat the middleman? <laughs> you know, God made animals slow enough to catch. He obviously intended for us to eat them. <laughs> Besides that, what's the fun in hunting a vegetable? <laughs> Anymore, I can sneak up on a carrot. <laughs> Some of that stuff's not even food, celery. That's not food. That's like uh, dental floss trapped inside a car. <laughs> I was reading about celery. You know, there's four calories in a stick of celery. Four takes your body six calories to process. Mm -hmm. A stuck of celery. You could kill yourself eating celery. <laughs> that's not food. That's such slow suicide. So, what is that? Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you though, it's tough because uh, <laughs> I got these neighbors behind uh -huh. me. Really? My neighbor Gail. Very um. Gail. Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved. Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and um, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is Tom! <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> I did that for him. Kristen's <laughs> here, and Pat, and Josh Arnold, Jess Hooker, and uh, Ace Cosby. I'm Chick, and here's... Here's Tom. Well, thank you very much. Talking about it all today. Covered a lot of ground today, but uh, we've got more to cover uh, with uh, Christy Lee at the news desk. Oh, what else you got over there? Police in Florida arrested a man for allegedly assaulting a Circle K clerk with a chocolate egg. Huh, because? The convenience store employee was trying to check out the suspect's items, but 27-year-old Mr. John Mass reportedly refused to allow the clerk to handle the transaction. Instead... The suspect walked over to another employee, rendered payment, and threw a chocolate egg toward the victim, hitting him in the forehead. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> After he was asked to leave, the suspect reportedly became irate, jumped the counter before trying to push and strike the victim's face. My goodness. The 27-year-old admitted to striking the victim and was arrested for battery. I have no idea why he must have rung up his, thung, his things wrong. I don't uh, know. Who what knows? Happened. Sounds like a lunatic. Hmm. 
Uh, why are they selling Easter eggs so early? Oh, Tom. Never too early to sell Cadbury That's right. eggs. Where have you been? They should be available uh, all year round, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the caramel ones, of course, not the cream ones. I'm glad that they make the caramel for you. I'm caramel <laughs> for you. I'm not glad they make the cream for you. I uh, wish they'd stop it. Stop it? <laughs> what do you think of that? It's their flagship egg. Uh, That's what they, they started with, yeah. Well, they they got they made the mistake. Now let's move on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they rectified it with the caramel. You know, all kinds of things like this happen. Uh, the uh, the convenience store game. You know, I was in that uh, for 30 days. It was the longest. <laughs> Month of my life. You were a clerk at a, a 7-Eleven on Pestinger Did you wear a Road. vest? I did. <laughs> That's dangerous. Actually, it was more of a smock. It oh, wasn't okay. a vest. It was okay. a smock. Yeah. I can't and imagine the, you interacting with the no, public. Oh, I, I know, didn't right? do it very oh. well. I'll tell did you, you run the cash register? I did. I ran the register. I, I put new uh, coffee in. I put new hot dogs on. Was this? I, okay, wow. I'm, not, I'm not trying to be mean or date No, you, no, no. Go ahead. Did you have the barcodes yet? Or did they? No, did you have to push it in? No, you had to. Oh. Yeah. $1.98. Did you have a TV there? Radio. Radio? Okay. You did juice. Were you allowed to? eat whatever you wanted yes <laughs> slurpees yeah they did what no, they for free didn't. as far as as far as i knew i could eat anything i wanted <laughs> i think that'd be amazing I, I think that's where i developed my love for uh convenience store tuna and egg salad Those oh are good. that Those makes sense good. Oh. yeah well, i'm with you know, pat did they have a slurpee machine and uh i they they must have it oh. was a 7-eleven oh they the, had uh, to have yeah in the uh, late 70s early 80s it would have to be and um there was a usa next door to the 7-eleven you guys know this story the skateland the united skates oh. of america oh <laughs> i see and friday and saturday nights when i had the misfortune to work that long month i <laughs> i'd lock the doors at 11 damn o'clock right you did you damn right i did <laughs> because <laughs> those little hooligans would come in and shoplift me blind <laughs> so i said no uh -uh, you're not getting in here now people as you open a hostess <laughs> there's only one shop lifter allowed in this year you you're gonna come in and steal from me <laughs> and they had i steal from me <laughs> they had a little office in the back so i would stand there out of view and you could uh, the, and you could hear <laughs> oh, no, oh, yeah. They knew you were yeah. supposed to be yeah. open. I turned the sign out and everything. Oh, it was oh. definitely 24. Did you get fired? Right. Uh, we came to a mutual uh, I see. <laughs> did, uh, <laughs> did the door even have... Oh, I'm sorry. You just said that you locked it. But I, yeah. uh, some of those 24-7 did have, not have locks, didn't that's they? exactly right. Yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, well, that okay. means that's cool that you did that though. The Southland Corporation. Worked there for a month or so. Actually owned 7-Eleven. Do you remember that's what they paid you? Uh, I'm going to say, oh, gosh, 300 a week or something, maybe. Whoa, something not like bad. That. That's not bad for not 70, bad at all. late 70s dollars. Yeah. Have you guys ever been fired from a job? No. No? no? Mm, not, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I quit. I was all but, I mean... It was, hey, look, you right. you should really quit. <laughs> I've yeah. been laid off twice. Is this, right? Ra is yeah. this Rawlings? No, oh. I, I, it was... Um, the call center? Yeah, but it was uh. when I was a copywriter for a pharmacy benefits management group. Oh, oh God. And I okay. sent an email that said, happy Friday, and it was uh, David Hasselhoff shirtless. <laughs> and uh, uh -huh. <laughs> On the floor? Uh, that shot? Oh, I don't eating, remember exactly. Eating, it must have been him eating French fries But it wasn't. And uh, my buddy, who, who was in a cubicle next to me, goes, Josh, why did you send that? I'm very offended. Oh. Joking. Oh. And then uh, my supervisor brought me in and said, you know, I actually saw that email, and I was very offended. Oh, I go, oh no, you weren't. And it was a huge meeting. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> nice. What else is going Hang on? Hang on, Pat, have you ever not been fired from the job? <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a fair question. Yeah. Tom, I'd like your opinion on something. We we were talking about saunas earlier, right? And sauna etiquette and behavior. I've gotten a couple. I have a couple emails here. Oh Lord, <laughs> uh, Brad from uh, Michigan. Uh, who, and who knows? If yeah, not. they just say they're <laughs> yeah. Michigan now to get on the show, and it's not a bad tack. No. I once worked at a gym and sauna. Two 20-something guys got angry when we didn't keep the place open past our closing time. So before they left, they peed on the hot rocks in the sauna. <laughs> oh. You've never smelled anything worse. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, well, I bet that was awful. And but funny. <laughs> I'm disgusted. We, so did, and our friend uh, Frank from Alabama. We all know Frank. Oh, Frank loves me. He says, "Morning, chick, you hot, sexy man." Thank you, Frank. Sitting here watching the show and the talk of saunas. I love them, but the ones I go to are at gay resorts, and they are so much fun. I bet. Tom. <laughs> There is no butt stuff going on. <laughs> well, he just wants to let you know. That's only because, Frank, you and I aren't there yet. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Clearly, you're both tops. Hello. <laughs> Clearly, we are both tops. We love, okay. we love yeah. Thank you very much, Frank. Christy Lee's at the news. What else is going on? In Texas, uh, they've arrested several Dairy Queen employees for running a methamphetamine <laughs> ring, allegedly. Yeah. I'll have a blizzard, man. And, uh, and a large chocolate coat. And... <laughs> Investigators received a tip that a group of employees at the Dairy Queen location in Clifton, Texas, Clit were selling Clifton. Clifton. Oh, Clifton. Oh, my God. <laughs> were selling drugs at their job site <laughs> in what was described as Operation Blizzard. Wow. Authorities set up undercover drug oh. buys, which led police to the suspicion that the employees were also selling drugs at other locations around Clifton. Wouldn't you love to look at, work at that that police? Because that there's a guy there who thinks he's James Bond. We're going to call it Operation Blizzard. Blizzard. Uh, <laughs> they're having fun. Yeah. Yeah. They arrested a total it makes of sense, 10 though. people. 10 people? Yeah. I mean, if you're a meth person, I assume that one of the few things you can eat is ice cream. Why? Because you have no teeth? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Not you wrong. Can't really, you can't gum a Big Mac. <laughs> Dear Tom, yes, you can gum a Big Mac. I'm, I'm, I'm. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> Go no Big Mac. That's the next issue. Wow. Wow, that's... I'm yeah. glad they glad, glad they caught that. That sounds like everybody was involved. Yeah. The managers. Yeah, the well, staff. Yeah, they're, they're maybe never the franchisee. Yeah. Um, Coming up, we have Snoop Dogg in the news. And when I first saw this headline, I thought it said bobsled instead of bobblehead. <laughs> I don't know why. Hmm, that'd we, be cool. A, a, a Snoop Dogg a Snoop, a Snoop, a Snoop Dogg, Dogg bobsled. bobsled. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, but a Snoop Dogg bobblehead's cool, too. Yeah. Well, well this is a big one, and yeah, it was we have stolen. A, we'll find out about oh. that. Yeah, uh, we have uh, a naked guy falling from a tree. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got a, a pigeon. 40 degrees. A, a pigeon that was under arrest. And boy, you never know what you're going to find in a snake's stomach, do you? Oh, no. <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> Where's Lassie? No. I'm guessing Finally, Tom. Lassie's late. <laughs> oh. We'll be right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and see contest rules. This is the Bob and Tom Show. The airport has got like magical powers. The airport's the only place where like you could be on the floor eating a salad. <laughs> And somebody will come up to you and ask you to watch their most precious things. You know, uh, can you watch my back and my kid? <laughs> Name A. Jackson, you know, slot 32B or whatever, and you just go find your car. And I went there, and you know, um, um, 29, 30, 31, and then there's no 32. It just started with another rental car. It's like, I know I can't ask, like, where's 32 after 31, because they might not let you take the car, you know? <laughs> Eventually, I went and asked, I was like, hey, ma'am, uh, there's no 32, it just, there's just budget. And she goes, oh, we merged with budget, so that's an Avis car, so you just take that. I should have just taken the car on the off chance that there was a corporate takeover or whatever. <laughs> and then maybe drive to somebody's house and break in and go to bed and hope it's an Airbnb. What are you talking about? Like, the Olympics are my favorite four years because they give that stat every four years about how many condoms they hand out at Olympic Village. <laughs> this year, we gave away 618,000 condoms at Olympic Village, and every time I hear that stat, I'm like, why? <laughs> Those are our best people. <laughs> what if we told that kid would be perfect? They'd be good on the land and the sea. It'd be like a, a first human Range Rover. What are we... We start handing out condoms at storage wars meet and greets. I'm a basketball fan, and they said, like, uh, if everything works out perfectly in the next three years, LeBron James and his son will be in the NBA at the same time. And I was like, no, oh, that's cool. But then I did a little math of my own, and I figured out that in six and a half years, 
me and my daughter's student loans are gonna overlap. <laughs> Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Did you get a lot of, I mean this in a kind of an way. I would imagine you probably had a lot of guy groupies, but not like in a, a traditional groupie, you know what I mean? In other words, dudes coming up to you. <laughs> Rod McEwen. <laughs> <laughs> Guys who Rod went to party with Rod, them? Rod, yeah. Rod, there's a reason why they call him Rod. Rod, <laughs> Rod waited for us in Hawaii. We were on our way to, to uh, uh, Australia, and Rod heard we were coming to, uh, you know, stopping in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. He waited. Uh, at the airport? Missed, no, he missed it. Yeah, at the airport. He missed his flight to meet us because be he thought he thought we were one of them. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Ah. Because no, of I the meant, bits it, we did. You yeah. know? What I meant was, as Christy, in other words, you guys They're were like, it up now, I, yeah. I want I I, I to party with these yeah, guys. Party yeah, party with these guys. I mean, I imagine that would that'd kind of be a buzz. <laughs> it would kind of be a burden, though, after a while. Oh, uh, no. It was, we just like, oh, I don't think so, man. We got a lot of bits from these parties, you know. We went to one party very early in our career. I think it was in Rochester. Yeah. And this one guy brought his, his he was a blues collector, and he brought this, his famous uh, never heard before uh, Lightning Hopkins <laughs> disc. Mm -hmm. And he had it on the on the turntable. Oh, and no. Very carefully put the needle oh, on no. there. And he sat down with his <laughs> eyes closed, and some party guy ripped it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> threw it off, put on another there. record on uh, that was cool. That one. Remember that one? <laughs> <laughs> that's where we got uh, earring my eye from. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, that's my record, man. <laughs> <laughs>
Tom 24-7. Not on air, online, all the time. Tell them we sent you. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Oh, hello. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. There's Jess Hooker. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Ace Cosby's here. Hey, buddy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold, and I need to stop for a moment and tell you that the Diet Pepsi can problem <laughs> continues. It's oh, my what God. Is, going is, it, on? is it real or is it just... Yeah, it's real. It's real. Okay. real. And to the second week, what yeah. I'm... I, help me explain this, Tom. Um, you have a, a bad case. The pull tab comes off the can without opening the can. Yep. Just, take, just take a screwdriver and punch it. No, I, 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 have to, I have to order groceries today. We'll get you all new Diet Pepsi. It'll I've got fun. it uh, I've got it down to a science. Because uh, he has his handy dandy. I have my uh, ice pick yep. and my uh, church key that actually really doesn't work, but it does. It helps. So I didn't know what was going on. It's and happening just... with all the sodas. But it is, really? Yeah, I got a bad case of Mountain Dew. God. <laughs> It's a mountain dew. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Nicely done, no, Patrick. And I recognize this look on Jess's face. She was certain that I'd done something <laughs> right, wrong. Okay. Right. I didn't know anything about it till right no. now. No, he's right. been he, over overreacting oh, to been, this for a week. Well, thank you. I, okay. I knew oh. that part, but he but he set it down and he pulled out the ice pick and he just jammed it in the top of the diet coke <laughs> and then he and then like a like a chocolate syrup can. Remember those? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Going to do that? That's yeah. what I I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. You hear what she said? A diet coke. Like she doesn't. Oh, know diet you. Pepsi. Yeah, Whatever. Shove it. Shove it. <laughs> Shove you and your diet Pepsi. Well, I'm sorry. What else is going on, Christy? I don't think I've been overreacting. It's really hard. <laughs> there was a day when he couldn't get in them. That was pretty frustrating. Life was oh. hard. I had to have Oscar could, come in. Hey, Did you not get it from your... You, you keep a case in your car for emergencies. I didn't want to do because of, uh, it, I, I hadn't reached uh -huh. emergency uh -huh. status yet. Uh -huh. They're still there. Is it in a case? It's a little hammer that you. <laughs> <laughs> in case of emergency, yes. break glass. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. It's in a, in a first aid kit. Well, finally, he uh -huh. figured out how, how to MacGyver it by just punching it out. It wasn't that difficult. It was hard. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Next. A man was arrested after allegedly stealing and then returning. A Snoop Dogg bobblehead statue from a Florida restaurant. Hmm. That'll teach you to what? return it. W-I-N-K. Hey, you guys listen to the <laughs> TV, huh? Come on, listen wink. to the TV. Wink. Huh? Wink, 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 wink News initially shared security video that captured a man making off with the 43-inch tall bobblehead from Cantina Laredo in Fort Myers. That's Sounds actually, like a nice restaurant. That's actually... Life size. <laughs> the restaurant employee told the station that the bobble had valued at twelve hundred and fifty dollars. What? It's now back no, in its not. original place near the cash register. When he was returning the bobblehead, the suspected thief, a Mr. Rocco John Benedetto, allegedly asked the kitchen manager to put in a good word for him with the general manager, saying he didn't want to get into trouble, but he has since been arrested for grand theft. Hmm. Hmm. Um Maybe he should have just dropped it off and shut up. Yeah. Uh, Snuck it in. Oh. Um, How about that, Josh? Sneaking it in. A snoop. <laughs> a snoop napping. Although that really doesn't sound like kidnapping a statue more than mm -hmm. it sounds like something you do after smoking. Too much of a snoop's brand. Will he be doing a commercial? Uh, He's got to be in something. Oh, probably. Yeah. He's doing, isn't he? Uh, he took Corona? Doing. Uh, oh, Corona, that's true. And the Olympics, isn't he? Yeah, he yeah. signed on to do that again. again. Maybe I'll have I'm just wondering if he'll be that. in a Super I would assume he'll be in some Super Bowl commercial. I would think. Doritos? Snacks? I don't know. Oh, they have a new Dorito campaign. This is what it tastes like to win the Super Bowl or something. Mm. And it's Eli and Marshawn Lynch. And they're in the, they're in the living room. <laughs> is what happens, Tom. It's very <laughs> interesting. And they... Veterinarians in Maryland say they removed a gear shift knob from a snake's stomach. Oh. The Second Chance Wildlife Center in Gaithersburg said it was apparent that the rat snake had ingested a foreign object when it was brought in. Staff initially thought it might be a golf ball, mm. which snakes often mistake for fresh chicken eggs. However, when the reptile underwent surgery to remove the object, the vet discovered a gear shift knob in its stomach. It was successfully what kind of car removed. Was it from? Yeah, Cobra. <laughs> hey! 
And the snake, is, <laughs> the snake is now recovering at the Wildlife Center. It will be returned to the wild in the spring. Uh, veterinarian called that a knob job, by the way. I'll give the old snake a knob job. How about this? Uh, this is a, a Disney, <laughs> Disney movie <laughs> waiting to happen called it Snakes. And uh, there's a nearsighted snake who thinks these are chicken eggs and they're not. They're all golf balls. <laughs> and he tries and tries and tries to get a chicken egg. And, and he he doesn't, and then at the end, he finally gets <laughs> okay. a chicken egg. All right, sir. We, no, I, thank I, you for We have other pictures to hear. <laughs> uh, Josh, thank you for your pitch. And through Josh, the love of a good female no, snake. No, it sounds real cute. So uh, Josh, you know, this snake he ate a the shifter knob from a... Uh -huh. Now, Josh, your snake was an automatic, right? That's exactly yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to own a drive a manual. manual. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how did I know you were a snake owner before you told us? I could just tell. Yeah, yeah, I've got some dirt bag in me, don't so I? So this snake-owning-looking <laughs> guy. Police in India have cleared a suspected Chinese spy pigeon after it spent eight months in a so-called bird lockup. Wait a minute. A pigeon? An actual <laughs> pigeon is a spy for the Chinese. That's what they're saying. According to the Press Trust of India, the pigeon's ordeal began in May when it was captured near a port in Mumbai with two rings tied to its legs carrying words that looked like Chinese. Police suspected it was involved in espionage and took it in. Wow. Hmm. The pigeon was eventually found... The Chinese... They use balloons, not pigeons. <laughs> What would the pigeon? The what, pigeon? Why would they have to secret away something on a pigeon? Stuff like this know. happens. Yeah. I mean, in, during World War II, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't That's they? That's true. They used them, right? Carrier pigeons? Well, sure. Carrier pigeons were, yeah. They carried things. things. Did you know the CIA? <laughs> this is absolutely true. The CIA spent $20 million tr training a cat to be a spy. And they, they did all these studies on cats, and they finally picked this cat out, and they did a surgery where they put, like, this antenna in the <laughs> spine of the cat so, and a listening device in its ear, surgically, so that it could go into this room and listen in and then take back <laughs> the oh recordings. Gosh. And so the day they were going to test this cat, this van pulls up. They have two guys sitting on a bench, and the cat's supposed to go up, listen to the guys and record them, and then go back to the van. Well, they pull up. They open the door of the van. Cat runs out. $20 million, immediately hit by a car. <laughs> oh. That's a true story? Yes, a true story. That's hilarious. Really? Oh. Yes, our CIA spent $20 million Gosh. training a spy cat. No, that's how, our tax dollars how would at the, work. Why would the cat walk up to the bench? They it had trained, trained it through... It uh, yeah, you. they trained it to go up to uh, certain areas and certain people and stuff. Well, they they, but they didn't park on the right side of the street. Uh, say, couldn't they flash your park? <laughs> exactly. They, they didn't think to drop it off on the side uh, of the street that the bench was on. This pigeon was eventually found to be an open water racing bird from Taiwan oh. that had escaped and made its way to India. It has now since been released back into the wild. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, executed. <laughs> this is the, the chick to go with your idea. This is the first Pixar film featuring waterboarding and torture. Aww. <laughs> Aww. All right. That's not my no. Disney movie about the snakes finding <laughs> oh, chicken eggs instead of golf balls. What? Hmm. No. A Georgia family was driven out of their home by a colony of bats recently. Monica and Isaiah Grant told the Savannah Morning News that they spotted the first bat on the evening of January yes, 18th. Yes, we saw the first bat. <laughs> yes. There's a motor in Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> and like everyone, used a blank to scoot the bat outside. A uh, broom. I'm going to say a fine broom of some sort. <laughs> How about a tennis racket? Tennis racket. Where? Well, we don't play tennis in a pickleball. It's too hot. Within a few days, they encountered several more bats, including Very. one instance Very when a friend close. came running out of the bathroom with their pants down and screaming. Man. As no the kidding. situation developed into a full-fledged infestation. Uh, and her full bush was on display. <laughs> right there for everyone. Good Lord, I screamed. The couple Put and their that away. two small children moved to a hotel and began to rabies treatment. Your pubic shrub is visible. <laughs> then I said, you better
wear it, we'll all share it. <laughs> a witticism that did not go unnoticed. Thank you. They have also started a GoFundMe campaign to raise enough money to cover the treatments as well as hotel bills. They'd have rabies shots? Yes, a pest oh, control God. technician. Oh, yes, a, a filthy woman. You'd have to have rabies shots to be exposed to that. <laughs> Bush. Told them that in the 43 years they'd been in business, they'd never seen that many bats living in a space. Wow. I wonder what kind of superpowers the kids are going to get. Huh? Yeah. Oh, true. Bit my bat. Yeah. That's awful. Mm. Wow. Yes. I've uh, had bats in a place before. Oh, I've had oh, bats in my not, house. Not sure. that many. Mm. Getting a bat out of the garage, you take a flashlight. No, that was the hummingbird. That's a hummingbird. Remember? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Those terrifying, terrifying yeah. hummingbirds. Yeah, yeah. you, you, you got to get them out of your house. Because once they get in, they don't leave. I, I bet those go. are good eating. If you fry, oh, humming, fry, up, a, fry up a mess of them. Oh, 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 hummingbird on a stick? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong with you not a, On a toothpick. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, now let's see. The clock is ticking, fellas. Uh, you know what's happening. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. I can save you right now. Pull over. Go to IHateStevenSinger.com and order something. Uh, Christy's got that beautiful uh, Yes, at bracelet. last bracelet. Very vintage, gorgeous looking bracelet with diamonds, baguettes. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. And how much was price, that? $248. Nice. Great how about this? 59 price. bucks for those beautiful gold dipped roses. Real roses dipped in real 24 karat gold. This year, the big seller is the Malibu Pink. Uh, kind of a little tribute to uh, Barbie, I guess. But there's one right over there, on, on the uh, uh, right next to Josh, and it's um, like I said, a gold dipped rose, hand painted in pink. And uh, this one, once again, about fifty nine bucks. And when you get it from Steven Singer Jewelers, here's what happens: they box it up in a beautiful box. You get a personalized Valentine's Day card, a free lifetime guarantee, and it'll be there in just a couple days. Because if you get the order in before two o'clock Eastern time, it goes out the door today. Lots of cool jewelry. By the way, beware of knockoffs. Make sure you go to IHateStevenSinger.com, S-T-E-V-E-N. IHateStevenSinger.com, and uh, get that obligation out of the way. You know what I'm talking about. And Christy has a great idea. Yeah. Get the bracelet, too. Hang the bracelet from the rose. You can wrap it around inside there. Oh, Now, great. just my idea is to buy some nice diamond earrings and mm -hmm. put them in the peas. I don't know. Nice, nice uh, there's a steak and peas for dinner. And okay. <laughs> no, don't go okay. Boy, boy, you need to say that's the most Nothing ridiculous I like idea you've ever had. Better than a meal of steak and peas. <laughs> oh, yeah. With diamond earrings in them. Well, I was going to do mashed potatoes, but that could be dangerous. Right. You could, you could bust a crown. Well, the peas uh, aren't that safe. <laughs> well, just you got to eyeball it then. Uh, I hate stevensinger.com. Tell Stephen we said, hey, uh, coming up. Uh, a cab. I need a cab. You'll see who needed one. Oh, cabby. Uh, cabby. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. Five. This is one of my favorite tunes, by the way. Tom's going to do one of his big hits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is, actually. It's one, it's of the, a huge hit. one of the better ones. Yeah, all set over there, Tom. I beg your pardon. <laughs> who are you speaking to? <laughs> oh... It's that strange European it's accent, accent that you can't quite place. Uh, I'm sorry, your name, sir? Bonjour. 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 Good morning, Mr. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, we said it. You must be the chick, the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, thank you so much. I'm sorry, I, we didn't catch your name. I haven't thought of one yet. I see. I, I see. I see. Um, it's Peter Merritt, isn't it? Or... <laughs> I think it is Peter Merritt. Peter Merritt. Something yes. Like that? Yes. That would be very funny. He's the crappy artist, isn't he? Dick Merritt? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ricardo Merritt. Yeah. Ricardo Merritt. Uh -huh. Excuse me, darling. I hate to interrupt you, but there's something I must tell you. I will sing for you now. Oh. <clears throat> In a minute. <laughs> Let it come around. I will sing after the band comes around. <laughs> it's the band's fault. If you find yourself in Holland, they'll say to you, how you more? In France, they'll say, ferme la gol. In Athens, you'll hear Scarmont. In Berlin, it's Helden in the Schnauzer. <laughs> in Jakarta, it's simply bon comme. <laughs> Let me translate for you, darling. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 
Shatam. <laughs> Coming around again. Has there ever been a topic <laughs> on which you don't expound? <laughs> Has there ever been a moment when your mouth wasn't making a sound? <laughs> Have you ever had the feeling that you might have said enough? <laughs> I am begging you, my darling. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Day or night, it does not matter. You still want to shoot the breeze. When I hear your constant chatter, I'm thinking, someone shoot me, please! <laughs> Maestro! Now we are in the bedroom. So comfortably inclined. But the only intercourse we're having is the conversational kind. There's just one way to stop you from blabbering so much. Say hello to Mr. Johnson <laughs> and shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> ah, bravo. Fermez la douche. Yes. Bonjour. Merde Chevalier. Merde Chevalier. Uh -huh. oh, Maurice <laughs> Chevalierinus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Maurice Chevalier. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Speaking with comedian Jim Gaffigan, what else is a... Uh... You're like, what's it, what are you into? Do you have hobbies? I, I, do you, are you, my, do you my, like weird food? Are you a drug addict? Anything I, cool uh, to talk about? Oh, I, I love food. Food okay. is my... Are you a drug, a drug addict? addict. <laughs> I'm very pale, but not a drug addict. <laughs> I'd like I, to be a drug addict. I for a little love while. food. Mm -hmm. I even enjoy watching people make food. But you, you ever notice the Food Network is far more interesting when you're hungry? You know, when you're full, <laughs> you're kind of like, this is stupid. <laughs> but when you're hungry, the Food Network's are like porn. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whip yeah. it up, baby. Make it for me. I love eating late at night, too. You know, you're not supposed to eat late at night. And mm -hmm. Then again, you're not supposed to drink booze in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> We appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Right? <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? Bob. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Josh Arnold, Christy, and Pat, and Ace, and Jess Hooker with a blanket now. All is right with the world. I'm Chicken. Here's Tom. She's cold very cold. I'm very cold today. Oh, yeah. Chrissy just was so sweet and gave me her blanket. <laughs> oh, nice. You're not coming down with something. No, I don't think so. I'm just a baby today. That's all right. Okay. We're all this, we all deserve to be babies. <laughs> um, now, we have... Uh, Tom, you ever baby when you get uh, sick? Do you, you get need babied? To be, you get, need to get babied? Get Do your forehead kissed, see if you have a fever. When I get Is sick, I, I want to be alone. Mm. Oh. Yeah, Is that I, right? I tend to hide I like also. to be by myself. Mm. You don't want anybody fawning over you? No. Oh. 
<laughs> Is that right? Well, are you sure? Uh, uh, All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm guessing that's, uh, that's, that's a good idea. I'm a huge baby when I'm sick, but I don't need to be babied. Oh, okay. Is that right? I'll just, just, I'll just hibernate and I'll be a baby. What about you, chick? Uh-oh. I like to keep it to myself. I know that now. I know that now. Tom. <laughs> Tom, your thoughts. Sometimes you have those days, though, where you just can't get warm. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. Uh, yes. Yeah. Hot shower. I thought it, like only women bath. got those, but I've had those twice uh, this winter. And... No, menopause you too, huh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Didn't we have a story one time that men go through menopause? Like once a month, they'll have a cycle. What? Stuff? Yes. Man- manstration? Yes. yes. Yeah, no, yes. Just, just... They're just making it up so that they can have an article some dumb newspaper. Mm-hmm. No, it's true. Well, I, sure get, I get a little moody and emotional. I bleed out of my vagina. <laughs> Thanks for your uh, concern. That's menstruation. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're you, just you trying to make, they make... This is all made up. Loving and caring. Yeah, yeah. Show me the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> just some guy, well, every month in a while, I get out. Oh, grow up. It's a well, tough he, world out he there. He just wanted to cuss so bad. <laughs> <laughs> what else have you got, Christy? An unusual scene unfolded in a Colombian city when a naked guy inexplicably, inexplicably what? fell from a tree and onto a taxi. Scared me to death. <laughs> I thought Jennifer Holiday was attacking us. <laughs> or whoever no, that is. Please run your board. Jeez. It's raining men. Sorry. We are now deaf. Thank God. Can you get a handle on that over there? <laughs> Why are you still running the yeah, equipment? You should be. It was comically loud. Was like you like, like you wanted to hurt us. Right. <laughs> the way he's laughing. Gave me a headache. That was ridiculous. So what happened again? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't tell him again because it's the same thing will happen. It'll be twice I lowered the volume. The naked guy fell from a tree and onto a taxi in Medellin. Thank you. Hallelujah. Still pretty loud. Written by Paul Schaefer. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, Paul's the best. <laughs> He's not. He hasn't written a lot of songs, but that no. one, uh, not bad. One. Of the sure, that bottom of house, huh? He crapped yeah. out was this one. Video shows the cab's back window smashed in while the roof and trunk caved in to the man's drastic fall. What was caused it? that, uh, Christy? A uh, guy fell from a tree naked. Hmm. <laughs> Men. <laughs> was he a fatty, fat, fat, fat? He was hospitalized with minor injuries following the incident. It's yeah. not clear as to why the man was not wearing any clothes or why he'd climbed the tree. How much did he weigh? Do we know? It doesn't say. It's a lot of damage. He must have been a fat, fat, fat. Hit, uh, hit every branch on the way down. Is that a punchline to a joke? It's a, uh, oh, never she mind. fell from the ugly tree okay, yeah. and hit every uh, branch on the okay. way down. Yeah. Gotcha. I thought it was or two, he fell from the two people tree. going at it and they fell out onto the sidewalk. Hey, your sign fell down. I love that joke. <laughs> Yeah, that's a different joke. Poor house. <laughs> vastly different. Your sign fell down. Your sign fell down. Uh, yeah, that, is a, that requires a very complicated setup of which you touched on nothing. <laughs> I know you and your setups. I, I'm yeah, good. It would be, be very helpful. Bring that's you a, back down. That is a very fine joke. But, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, they don't, so there's a naked guy yes. falling from a tree. Yes, onto a taxi. Onto a taxi. Must have had been a peeping Tom, right? Up Why there? was he naked? Did they peep naked? That way you could... Hey, you look, know. you hail a cab your way. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hail it my way. Are you calling that uh, when you... Uh, I'm going to go peep? Is that what you say? You peeping? I'm, I'm going to go yeah. peep. Got to go climb a tree, peep. <laughs> Masturbate. Yeah. Uh, and I'm naked because I, I don't want to get it on me. Right. I think I got some peeping time here. I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, but wouldn't yeah. it hurt to sit on a branch naked? It's not that bad. That's I mean, uh, <laughs> that's part of it. If you're All into right. it. Well, you got to be really weird to get kicked out of a Keebler elf party. <laughs> <laughs> hey, throw that naked guy out of here. Right. Wasn't, George naked McFly, here. wasn't George McFly peeping on uh, Lorraine from a tree branch when uh, Marty McFly ran into him? That's right. To the future? Yeah. Pretty sure he was. Can you know. imagine wanting wanting to spy on a woman <laughs> who might be undressing so badly you yeah. climb a tree, uh, climb a tree <laughs> and wait? With binoculars. <laughs> Boy, you gotta want it, huh? Man. You gotta be making yeah. this There's something noise. charming. <laughs> I feel like a woman would look out and saw if saw a guy who, who went through all that. Yeah. Just yeah. go, you know what? Here yeah, you go. Here you, here, go. You go. here you go. Take a look at these for a second. Yeah. Yeah. You've earned it. Yeah. <laughs> you worked for this. Either that or you call the cops. Well, of what course. <laughs>
Well, oh, oh well, I, <laughs> you should be a little more generous, Kristen. Oh, goodness gracious. Three Panamanians who drifted in the Pacific for 11 days. Oh, I love this joke. Yeah. Surviving on rainwater and coconuts that floated by have been rescued by the Colombian Navy. Oh. The trio traveled about 370 miles on what was supposed to be a routine run from Veracruz. I think if I was stuck on a raft... And a boat came up. Hey, who are you guys saving me? We're the Colombian Navy. I'll risk being on the raft. <laughs> <laughs> the journey is about 15 miles. They were traveling there to refuel a fishing boat when they drifted off course, apparently. So, yeah. Mm. Senor Gilligan. <laughs> Senor Gilligan, where, where's, where's the boat? <laughs> so they're alive. They're, they're okay. alive. Yeah, yes. Tour. Yes, they're alive. Mm. Sunburn, probably. Yeah. Mm hmm Probably. Yeah. Mm. Too much time. Just drifting mm -hmm. yeah. out there. Okay. <laughs> An adolescent giraffe settling into his new home after spending the last year alone at a Mexican city park. <laughs> the four-year-old giraffe named Benito was recently moved from the park in Ciudad Juarez to the African Safari Park in Puebla, which already hosts seven giraffes. He made the 1,200-mile journey in a custom crate on the back of a flatbed truck. <laughs> Lying down, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an overpass. Hey, <laughs> hey Benito, duck. <laughs> All of a sudden, he super games him. <laughs> What was what was the was it a movie that had the giraffe? Super? No, not the Hangover. One of the Hangovers. Wasn't uh, Zach Galifianakis driving, and it hit a overpass? <laughs> and there was a giraffe. It was giraffe with sunglasses on. Yeah, and sunglasses. I don't yeah. remember that. But park and they staff were popping popcorn. Yeah, okay. said Benito had spent a long time completely alone. Poor so guy. it's going to take him a few days to introduce him to the rest of the herd. So far, and he's tried hopeful. to kill the other traps seven times. <laughs> they're 12, hopeful. 1,200 miles? Yeah, they're hopeful the rest of the park's giraffes will accept him. Yeah, oh. water, yeah, that's a long... That's a, wow. Mexico's a long country, my friend. Okay. Yes. Um, is this... That Jeffrey the giraffe didn't he lose his gig at Toys R Us? Mm, he did. Yeah. They, did they ever? Did he ever get? Aren't they back online or something? They are available. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did they rehire Jeffrey? Yeah, I hope no, so. No, I don't think so. Oh, really? No, he has an OnlyFans now. <laughs> <laughs> but he's making more money than he was. Oh, I bet. And he Very controls much. his own content. Want to watch people naked? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gotta. Uh, this is the guy. <laughs> Why don't you buy me something? Oh, another scarf. Okay. <laughs> Super. Oh. Christy, we were yes. talking about peeping toms and whether or not if you saw one outside your window, would you be generous? enough to show him a little something for the effort. Yeah. Well, in a similar question I have for you, yes. would you ever send a, 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 a young man off to war? <laughs> if he said, look, I'm going to war. I just oh, want... <laughs> one last... Uh... One last what? I've never been with a woman. I want to be with you. And uh, before I go over there and face the perils of war, will you please make love to me? Soldiers would you do well, that? Yeah. Now? At, the, at this day and age? Uh, or back when I was single, late. you. Oh, single you. But now, yeah. Um, I don't know. It depends on what he looks like. I was going to say, what's he, what, what, what's he packing? So if you're an ugly soldier, <laughs> you're on your own, ugly. Uh -oh. I didn't say that, but yeah, no. Well, they used to call them the round heeled girls. Is that what they were called? Yeah, they never called them that. Yeah, I don't know if anyone knows anything about World War Two. Knows what I'm talking about. Never. How horrible. What would it be for that young man to never have experienced love? See, that's exactly the attitude yeah. they're hoping for. <laughs> and then, you, yes. and then, yes. you, then you find out he's actually working at the PX <laughs> 20 miles south of San Diego. <laughs> to to work. And it's not, never going to be leaving stateside. Yeah, you didn't Up recognize that that was a milkman's uniform. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm off to serve our country. Yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> uh, well. All right, I'm going to say that's a yes. You're very generous. Very, yeah. very sweet of you to well, do that. Would you do that if the situation were reversed and a woman came to you and what am I saying? You're a man. <laughs> I think you. I think you. I don't care if you're going to war or not, lady. Get in. I think I'm you're uh, totally missing what Jess says. It depends on what he's packing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> really? You're yeah. Size queen. <laughs> Jess, I thought you weren't into that. Into what? Size well, queen. Ah. Remember one of her biggest celebrity crushes. Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Ooh, that's she's right. a size queen. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Christy, Man, that's uh, rescued hurt. me by doing anything other than this. Rescue uh, me. Taylor Swift won the album of the year last night at the Grammys. I don't know if you saw that. She also announced she has a new <laughs> album coming out this spring, Tommy. Okay. Get her boyfriend was by her side. Money. 
Her boyfriend was not there. He's busy working on a Super Bowl, okay? He's still in Kansas City. Oh, my God. Uh, they, they're both in, uh, both teams are in Vegas. I, I think the what Grammys stole were. the show last night was Tracy Chapman and Luke Combs doing that Fast to Cars. Get together. That was yeah, it was really, really amazing. And Miley Cyrus did a great job. Oh. It was actually kind of a fun mm-hmm. little award show. Now, Miley, Billy uh, Joel. Miley won some, right? Record yeah, the yeah she won her first Grammy. Yeah. How long between Taylor Swift albums? So she comes out with one Two of the Two years, it's been, All right, right, so that's about right. Yeah. Yeah. Dad and company will <laughs> reportedly join John Mayer for a residency at the Las Vegas Sphere this spring. The Sphere. The Sphere. The New York Post said their residency will start in May, an official announcement expected soon. Dead and Company, which includes former Grateful Dead founding member Bob Weir, last played July 16th at San Francisco's Oracle Park. An event that at the time was billed as the final stop of their farewell tour, but we all know that in rock and roll, farewell means maybe. Well, Vegas <laughs> residency type deal. Yeah. yeah. I'm number 9,000 and something on the wait list for that show. <laughs> oh, God. Are you yep. a big fan? Just waiting. Yeah, I just thought, I think that'd be a good show to go to, to the sphere for that. Yeah. A lot of, uh, I, oh, I guess it'll be gummies, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm, Lots boy. of gummies. No sure. smoking. Mm-mm. You no. hot box the sphere. Well, that'd be, <laughs> I mean, you could. Pipe it in. <laughs> I've never been there. It's supposed to be sphere? amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess it was on the Grammys last night. First time they yeah they did a, cameras in there, I guess, or something. They did a live thing. Yeah, from U2. U2. Yeah. yeah. And then it's fish, fish are coming up after that sometime. Yes, sure. they're doing the sphere. So was it all just filthy hippie shows? No, there's a lot of fun shows there. <laughs> no, maybe Pantera will be back. <laughs> You don't know. Well, I'm thinking Tool. Metallica won Tool a Grammy. would be a good... Uh, Metallica won a Grammy last night. Oh, no. I, that, no yeah, he, means, he means the sphere. Right. Will, yeah. the, will the sphere be a... Uh, have a have a heavy metal weekend? Have a, have a, have a... Yeah, I can't speak. Have a, have a, have a. I can't have believe a, you have, have the nerve to play this again while Tom is still sitting in the room. All right, Pantera for you, Tom. A little Pantera. This is nice. You up for this? How long does it take to kick in? Now about six more minutes. It's got... Yeah, it's a, it's a journey. A good one. <laughs> it's slow, it slowly builds. What is this going? I want to see Tom's face when it does. This is called This Love. Uh, there's and something terror. changed a little bit. Oh, is it here? No, they start, they start singing. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. He is singing. It's a ballad. So far, so good. Sounds good. Oh, you know the words? <laughs> what is a Pantera? It's a... Uh, he said, I love, but I lied. What an ass. <laughs> Is a Pantera an animal? No, it's a small uh, pearl inlay cigarette box. You didn't know that? Give me a Pantera. <laughs> Sounds like a cigarette, doesn't it? Yeah. I smoke Pantera menthol. Not anymore, buddy. We're taking them off the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Right? No. no. Son of a bitch. Pantera's a leopard. Is it? Oh, that's mm-hmm. what I, okay, that's cool. Like a, Especially like a, a large one, it says. Oh, a large one. Wow. Yeah. Sounds, like sounds like a critter. A always, critter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pictured like a flying dinosaur. Yeah. Wow. yeah. That's what yeah. I always thought. You just you know, said it sounded like a cigarette. <laughs> Will you make up your mind? It sounds like both. A cigarette leopard? Speaking of animals, <laughs> a group of housemates in Australia identified more than 1,000 different species in their backyard. Really? According to the University of Queensland. You're, UT, you're, you're in a university? University. What is wrong with you and me today? Uh, you're going to... Oh. UQ, that's University of Queensland, okay. mathematician Dr. Matt Holden and ecologist Dr. Andrew Rogers, along with taxonomist Dr. Russell Young, There's conducted. No way that's right. that I know. Really it's, is it tax, taxonomist? Ta- taxonomist. Taxonomist? What is that? It means you pay your taxes, but don't tell the IRS that you. Look, I know you guys need the cash. Here it is. Just, I'm not going to file. I have never <laughs> in my life seen that word, taxonomist. Taxonomist. So these are a bunch of science dudes that Yeah, are they roommates. counted species during COVID-19. Uh, one, over a 12-month two, period. Three, <laughs> yeah, the what? roommates discovered 1,150 unique species of animals, plants, uh, and I fungi. Think these guys have Netflix or something. Six. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you want to go to lunch? Yeah, about 4.30. Seven. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Their survey shows suburban urban houses and apartments could have far more biodiversity than ever imagined. How many of them were poisonous snakes? It doesn't say yeah, what no, they I found. Mean, in, in All Australia. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I they, guess the idea to count the species was born when Rogers went to vacuum cobwebs in his room and wondered how many spiders were on the property. Oh, boy. 
You know, if you'd like to find out more, you can read all about it in a journal called Ecology. Or to oh, local library. Out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun. It does? Yeah. It does. I think you'd be, you wouldn't want to know. Have you ever I've... heard of mammal watchers? They're like bird watchers, only they count mammals instead. They go looking for mammals instead of birds. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. Hmm. That's oh, a yeah. thing? Yeah, it's a thing. A little more dangerous, right? It's like, a lot more dangerous. primarily <laughs> squirrels and chipmunks? Oh, no, it's all kinds of things. Lions? If you're lucky. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you've got a lion in your backyard. Well, I was looking what? up in the tree for a monkey when the lion attacked me. Uh, uh, right now, I want to remind you that uh, with Valentine's Day just around the corner, well, this would be a great idea. Get him or her some nice headphones or, of course, those Raycon earbuds. By the way, with uh, President's Day holiday coming, I highly recommend for the kids getting those full headphones. Oh, yeah. They'll be, they'll be getting in the plane and being nice and quiet for the, the entire old, journey because they're absorbed. The over-ear fit. for the they, Raycons has them all. That's right. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Uh, buy the significant other one and get a pair for yourself. And Raycons has... Optimized gel tips that fit every ear ever made. And plus, they have eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. And you get amazing quality audio at around half the price of other premium audio brands. And do not forget awesome features like noise isolation and three customizable sound profiles. And uh, we receive love letters all the time from Bob and Tom listeners about their Raycons. It's no wonder Raycons Everyday Earbuds have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. It's time, just in time for Valentine's Day. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 15% off your Raycon order, plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom, 15% off and free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Trust me, I uh, got them for my girls. You're going to love those Raycon headphones or earbuds. Uh, Christy, I didn't, yeah. I, I looked this up too, taxonomy. Yes, is a branch of science concerned with classification, especially of organisms. Oh, okay. No. Kind of like a taxidermist. No, no. Taxidermy is all different. You ever met a taxidermist? I have not. My sister's learning to do it. What? Really? Right now, I know. It's wild. Is she stuck up and snooty like the one I met? Uh, met. No, not at all. Yeah, what a yeah. stuffed shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. I know where you're going with that. <laughs> see, he's a taxidermist. <laughs> Stuffed shirt, you see. Kind of a joke there. Uh, the, <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Comedian Tim Allen is here. He goes, you know, oftentimes you hear this a lot. Yeah, oftentimes the technology they learn here at the race is translated into your family car. Uh huh. And I went, yeah, right. This year, the Chevy's offered the new the Indy Celebrity, <laughs> a 900 horsepower celebrity wagon. <laughs> so I'm like, Gosh, George, this thing's really got some pickup, doesn't it? <laughs> I got to the kids to school in about six seconds. <laughs> We're having lapping practice next week with all the other girls' PTA. She's running the offy. I'm doing the Buick. And Betty's got the Chevy high tech. Ah, ah, 
<laughs> I pulled the trailer right out from under the boat, George. <laughs> this baby's got some guts to it. <laughs> Love Sears. Do you? This mm. craftsman tool department makes my nipples rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> she always figured we should grunt like pigs. Uh -huh. The little primate you are. Don't speak to your mother. You grunt like the pigs you are. <laughs> <laughs> Ever try to take a steak away from your husband? Here, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to grab meat from a man while we're just like dogs. I like going through the house rewiring stuff. That's my favorite thing. One of those big tool belts. Yeah. Two cordless Makita drills hanging low. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta know how to wear it, otherwise your butt crack shows. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, what is that? A pencil hole over there, Bob? I'm gonna hike that up. I got some spackle. I'll uh, I'll figure out that butt crack. <laughs> I got some dap butt crack filler putty back here. I'll just fill that crack right in there, Bob. I got kids eating food in this kitchen. Get out of here. Go to minor me a dovetail out there or something, Bob. I'm, I just cruise around my house like Bob Vila, you know, with a bad headache. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just looking for stuff. I look at it. I notice Grandma's easy lift chair isn't moving quite as quick as I'd like it to. So I pop down the hardware store, pick up a compressor, some hose, some coal. Wax cable. I wire that sucker up. I forget Grandma lost some weight in the years I look at. Got the 140 pounds a little too high, didn't it, Grandma? <laughs> Shot that bitch halfway across the kitchen there. <laughs> Doilies following her. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. I'll dial that baby down as soon as I rewire Grandpa's hearing aid. <laughs> I got a preamp on that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Comedian yeah. Tim Allen. Oh, God. Now uh, that's manly. Yeah. Yeah. Presiding over a symbolic condom roast in his Catholic Church's parking lot a in Waterbury, roast. Connecticut. Mm, yes. I love those. The Reverend Joseph Looney protested. Mesquite condom roast. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> very tasty. <laughs> I'd like that black and please. It makes it look bigger. And they look, <laughs> 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 they look so good at a shish kebab, too. A little pepper, a little bell pepper. Mm. Condom, <laughs> tomato. Mm. <laughs> What's the name of this reverend? Reverend Joseph Looney. I'm not kidding. No. Unbelievable. I'm Casey Kasem. I don't think so. American Top 40. Yeah. Is it just my imagination or is my head just a bit too big for my body? <laughs> and here's my wife, Karima Kasem. Show him the Top 40, honey. <laughs>
Our number one job here on the Bob and Tom Show. Uh-oh. That's to educate. That's right. Uh, Based today. And if we don't learn from the past, we're forced to... Oh, that's a good one. Stick our nose right in. Today's March 4th. Have, uh, have to do it again. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, time now for today. In history, February 5. Oh, uh, number 5. Okay, 1901. Uh, Teddy uh, Roosevelt. Ed Prescott nope. patented what? Mm. Uh, the cotton gin. Um, way too, way too late. <laughs> way too late. Cotton gin done. Poor, poor Ed. <laughs> he patented the, uh, waffle cone. Uh, that would be better, but no. Uh, the loop the loop roller coaster. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine being the first guy to try that? Boy. Mm-mm. Uh, okay, here's yeah. what we're going to do. Now, it's going to feel like you're going to go flying off into space. <laughs> <laughs> and you might. <laughs> and you just might. Back in um, 1901. Not, yeah, he coined the term projectile vomit. <laughs> uh, oh, he did. And that was, uh, you know, this just, that's, well, let's see, wait a minute. That's what, 12 years before the invention of the brazier. So, <laughs> no, that had to be. That what handy. did they do before? They let him flop. Brasiers. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, uh, the corset. They must have the corset. corset in the wind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, that, that's boring. Uh, that's flop even, that's even more wind. boring. This is even more boring. Give, give us one. Give us one you think's boring. Uh, Sixty-nine. Vince Lombardi becomes part owner, vice president, general <laughs> manager, and head coach of the Redskins. Yeah, that's uh, that's boring. All right. Yeah. He's, 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 he became the inspiration for Jerry Jones. I'm going to own the team and tell him what to do. Okay. Um, so yeah, and by the other, and I mean of course the Washington Football Club. The Washington. Football they have now changed their name. They're the the Commanders. And uh, they've looked for them to change their name again. Really? You think so? Really? I know so. Yes. All right. Wow. Interesting. Uh, they're going to go back to team. You wait and see. Cool. Washington football team. I hope so. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Yep. It's classy. It's cool. Like commanders it. are uh, is dumb. I but, like what, but making all I, the commander I, I, I stuff collectible. The better one was, what was it? The red. Uh, Flyers? Mind. Yeah. Um, let's see. Here, let's do some birthdays. All uh, right. 1934, the great Hank Aaron. Oh, he's good. Um, oh, this is a good one. 1948, uh, Christopher Guest. Oh. Of course. Do you know who that is? Yeah. That's Jamie Lee Curtis's husband. Well, That's right. famous for... he was uh, Wherever he is right now, he's scowling. Oh, really? You don't think he's a happy... I, no, he's very I cranky. No, he's yeah. not. Oh, he's cranky, isn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, legendarily. Brilliant. Yep. I, right? I yeah. guess. Yeah. Uh, spi- spinal, spinal Tap. tap. Yeah. He's better return. He put a wig show. on the Spinal yeah. Tap. Way to go, Chris. Calm down. He was the six-fingered man in The Princess Bride. Uh, oh, Yeah. Um, 1964. Stop saying that. <laughs> Duff, Duff, is it McKagan? Yes. And what, what is he? He's a Guns N' Roses guy, right? Mm-hmm. He's a bass player. Is he still in the band? He's back in the band. Okay. All right. Duff. Duff man. Okay. okay. Hey, Duff man. Uh, um, <laughs> hey, giant can of beer. <laughs> Bobby Brown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, my prerogative. Is that my prerogative? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, That's a catchy one. That's one of his songs. It's good. So. Is he... Uh, he was uh, free. I, is it yeah, Bill DeVoe or New yeah, Edition? New Back edition, in New yeah. Edition, they're doing a res- res- residency in Vegas. Well, okay, there you go. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, the uh, great uh, soccer player. Oh, happy Latin. birthday! Born in uh, 1985, <sighs> and uh, the rest of this is all fairly boring. I'm <laughs> oh, this is a good one. The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour premiered in '67. <laughs> Sorry. I see. But they they were the first. So you're you're basing all this on your tastes and wants, basically. Yeah, yeah. I like the Smothers Brothers was a great show, and, and they they uh, uh, invented okay they invented getting canceled. Wow, well, <laughs> that's they, true. Yeah. They, they were canceled before being canceled. It was cool. Yep. Um, okay, things we learned today on the Bob and Tom Show. Actually, actually, we're, we're right off the top of the bat, we learned this on Friday. Uh, I don't think we'll ever forget uh, where we were when Tom. Uh, called one of our comedians' uh, guests a name, and here's what it sounded like. John Wynn just joined us in the studio, and I'm looking at this picture of John, and uh, i got to tell you, John, you're like a fat pig in this thing. You look like a slender, normal guy. Jesus, Tom. (laughs) I was listening live, and I just, I was shocked. Fat pig. But not at all, actually. Yeah. He, 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 no, he he asked me to... uh, Well, don't say that. (laughs) Shocked, but not surprised. Yeah, there you go. He said, I've just lost 70 pounds, and I said, well, I, I, I know how to get to that. (laughs) <laughs> and this, and, he, yeah, that and mind. he trusted you. And this That's is what you came up with. Just joined us in the studio, and I'm looking at this picture of John, and uh, i got to tell you, John.
you, John, you're like a fat pig in this thing. And I, <laughs> That's what you came up with. And he didn't actually have a picture. Well, geez, Ace. <laughs> what, a little more behind the curtain. <laughs> Do you remember what his response was? How many more times, Tom? How many more? <laughs> what else did we learn? Christy Lee has a new scarf and forgot to take the tag off of it. <laughs> How embarrassing. And then, Mortifying. And then you asked, are, are people still buying baseball caps and leaving all the tags on? Yes. I wanted to know. And I think they are. I think mm -hmm. by and large they are. Would you say Christy's mistake this morning was the faux pas of the season? <laughs> of the social? I'm almost certain. <laughs> yes. It will be talked about for the entire 2024 calendar year. Especially at that price. Yikes. Absolutely. <laughs> cheap. <laughs> cheap. On sale. Uh, big news at the compound. I have a new Montreal Expos hat. That's pretty cool. Pretty exciting. Very cool. A new hat, Tom. Look forward to seeing it. Maybe I'll wear that. Super Bowl is in Las Vegas uh, on Sunday. Super Bowl 58, Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Did you do this? Oh, look, what's happening over there, Tom? <laughs> oh, he's, he's getting, we're dancing over there. He's dancing. Whoa! <laughs> I know. Uh, Willie's in Vegas getting ready for the Super Bowl. Be looking for some videos posted uh, probably by this afternoon, I'm guessing. One thing we learned today, no one tells a story quite like Ace Cosby. <laughs> True. We all, we all listened. Uh, we had that uh, pigeon that was put in prison. You know why they put him in prison? Why? Because he was a flight risk. Oh, boy. <laughs> but now he's a jailbird. <laughs> I can play this awful, awful game, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.